Hi, I'm Peachy. I'm Patrick. I'm Jeff. I got <laughs> I got stunned then. Mr. I forgot who you were. Is that <laughs> You're too Jeff busy thinking about going, too busy thinking about going on holiday. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 Yeah. So, same. Yeah. Same. And today we are joined by Ollie Fabian of Broadsword Walking. That's right. That is all correct. I got it right. All of it. All yes, of it. Almost surname. got it wrong. <laughs> that is, isn't it? It's a strong surname. Fabian. I like that. Fabian. Yeah. 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 yeah it's cool. Fancy. I feel like you should have like fingerless gloves. Do you think? Yeah, I reckon Maybe so. in a, a hat, a little, little, little old hat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I could do Absolutely. that. Absolutely. I think you should do that. So thank you for joining us. Um, for our viewers that don't know who you are, can you give us a brief description of who you are and what do you do? I am Ollie Fabian from Broadsword War Gaming. Nice. We've got that right. We've got that <laughs> there. I, uh, I've had a YouTube channel about the same sort of time as you guys, I think, now, a good few years. I looked, I oh, look. no. We're not even going. Yeah, yeah. You're, 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 a, you're a veteran compared to oh, us. God, yeah, you, we're about six. I've got questions now. about this as well because I've got some some points to talk about, which is fun. Oh. I'm looking for not nothing bad. Nothing okay, bad. all right. No, no, what are we now about sixteen months something like that? Yeah, we started in April. Oh, last yeah. year. Yeah. Yeah. oh god, no, yeah. no! Don't let the beards fool you. Yeah, it's the old age. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My, my anniversary is coming up uh, October the second, yeah, yeah. I think, or first. Oh bloody hell! So, yeah. Well, there you go. I've, I've been running about just over four years now. I've got a shop over in the west of Ireland, so I have like a retail store. Hmm. Um. I don't know, really. That's it. My partner, Kira, she's a big part of the channel. She streams as well, so we've become a bit more of the, of the channel now. And uh, yeah, keeps me busy, basically. Awesome. So my first introduction to you oh, as, a, as a YouTuber was several years ago. I did a little Wama TV video. Oh. And it was uh, How to Paint an Untamed Beast. That's and right. uh, I remember d doing it, moving on to the next one, moving on to the next one. Someone came up to me and was like, oh, someone's just used your video to do a, a YouTube video where they, they get their partner and... They watch your video and like learn to paint on your video. I was like, oh, really? Well, I've seen this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it wasn't until recently. So I was like, we got talking about obviously because you'll come onto the channel and stuff like that. Um, and I was like, that, that wasn't brought to war game, was it? So I had a little check and I was like, oh my God, it was. You made the connection. Yeah, I made the connection. It was like so long ago that I'd just forgotten about it until recently. And I had a quick watch of the video last night because I know some of the steps because they used to do the old. It's like, I'm just going to do this bit for yeah. like four seconds, then and the whole hey, looks great. Because yeah. <laughs> they don't want to show all the steps, which is weird. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, it was really, that was really interesting sort of thing, watching uh, Kira just try and follow my guide. I she think, did great. She did. That was, that, I think she did the first model. We, we got that old like intercessor, you know, the pointing intercessor man, and yes. it's like an old yeah. paint set. Yeah. It has no guide in it, so it's got a couple of paints and the brushes. And I said to her, well, this was just after lockdown or whatever kicked in in Ireland so I, I couldn't I'd moved to Ireland in the October and this was about what was that March or April or something and I couldn't get other people onto the channel so I was a little bit like oh what are we doing because like well she likes painting so she thought I'll give it a go she used to do a lot of makeup and stuff mm. she's quite good with brushes and colours and she's like I'll give it a go but she did that intercessor but it had like no guide at all it's just like oh there's blue yeah yeah good yeah. luck and she's like, oh, so I didn't help her at all like I had to like, sit on the back of the camera and be like oh like undercoat it but you wouldn't know right as a yeah. totally new person so she learned a bit from that and then yeah she saw your video because she likes all the, the old barbarians and that from war crisis so, oh, yeah we'll awesome. copy that and thought, bugger it let's do that then so you like you say it's the steps that are missing she's like well his looks awesome and mine it just looks like shit right now I spent like, a lot of time on my nipple yeah that's point. it yeah, she did a lot, she did a lot, i think we called him Ariolus. <laughs> do you know what i mean that was it he's had the war cry leader for the tame beast and uh, it's like such a good greek name yeah, yeah. Ariolus. Just, <laughs> Ariolus, the, the, the untamed beast naked barbarian man yeah, you know, she started painting the six pack and shamed me a little bit there i was like yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Muscle same man. same yeah, yeah but no, she really, keg. really liked that that did really well as well i think i remember yeah. actually at the time because you'd have been it i was still still there i remember i think it was you who else was it someone else got in touch and said oh we just watched your video i was like Bloody hell. There yeah, you go. And Kira's, was Kira's dead chuffed about that. And then that was kind of a kick off the start to get her going, really. Yeah. yeah. Was, after a year and a half, she's probably, well, it's not, I say year and a half, it's three years probably. She's been yeah, I think it, yeah, it was, it, I was looking at the, the date on it, it was quite, and I was like, I'm sure it was done that longer than that, but actually it was around about the same yeah. kind of time. So. Oh, no, she, yeah. Now she's better than me now. So. Yeah. Well. <laughs> my, first, my first one of yours was the um, Playmobil Gladi Gladiator yeah. Arena. I love that, the Warcry Arena. Brilliant. Yeah, I've been trying to get one. So I can make the because I saw that and I was just like, I need this in my life. It's so good. And yeah. For me, that was like one of the big, early big like videos. Do you know what I mean? But at least mm. I had a table like this, a big circle, and just fuck it, get that, put this arena on it. I got it for like forty quid or something. And mm. I thought that'll do because arena just come out. I give it a go. I hacked it all up and did that. Was that was still a cool board actually? Now, like, yeah, I don't get to paint it much. But yeah, so I, I ordered. It was I didn't think about it until recently because of like looking at videos and stuff. But I'd got a Playmobil castle um, nice. to turn it into a storm cast sort of castle for Warcry. Um, some of the height needs a bit of work. Yeah. You know, some of the doors are a bit too big and some of the parapets are a bit too low so I need to build up on it. But as as walls and details go, play, on eBay it's like 
10 quid yeah, it's for a castle. F- for nothing. Like, yeah. I, I, I did another one recently. I did like a kid's toy, like a wizard tower. Yeah, I did that yeah. with a big snowboard. I've got loads of those things, man. I've got like a frozen castle, like with Disney princess one. I've got a My <laughs> Little Pony one. I nicked off the kid. Now she's past that phase. I might make into like a weird realm gate. Yeah, like yeah. a pony one side and a bloodthirst of the other. We're just going to talk about kids' toys, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, let's see that. Yeah. You're the good one. It's getting scenery as... Um, Buying it from uh, pet shops for fish tanks. Yeah, yeah. You know, Although they're quite expensive, expensive. Yeah. really expensive for what they are. Because I was looking at um, one of the guys in uh, Warmer TV at the time was making a backdrop, and he was using the I forget what the little sort of fish tank things you have for like geckos and lizards. They've got a name. I forgot what they're called. Yeah, now. Vivarium. 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 Thank you. But you can get like um, like bark. Sort mm-hmm. of backdrops and sides, yeah, yeah. and you can get lots of different sizes, and they're like they're just really good for photography because they just look like a cavern wall, but they're like like twenty quid a piece. Dead expensive, yeah. yeah. Like, oh. it's like, and why why has your table got an outer scale German U boat on it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A, gi- a giant eighty eighty walk. Definitely like that. Fish fish stuff is cool, right? Like the stuff, but like I say, it's, it's not always bang on, but it's yeah. expensive, yeah, right? and yeah. heavy. So that's the thing with the kids' stuff. I was at a mate's house. The other I think day, it actually. has to be expensive, doesn't it? Because it's got to be made out of something that will just weather being in a fish tank for God knows how many years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and a big chunky thing. So I was at, I was at a mate's. I spotted his kids got like a big Iron Man tower thing. And I was like, ah, oh, like when that when that kid's done with that, I'll make it to big mechanic. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> anything. I look at kids' toys all the time. I went around Dublin for the day and was like, oh, got one on Gumtree, and I was like, oh, that's ten of there, ten of there. And they were like, oh, is this for your kid? I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, kid yeah loves, let's say it is. Kid loves, he's like, hasn't got all the pieces. I'm like, oh, kid will be, he loves He-Man. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. I, I've done the same. I got a load of uh, Buzz Lightyear because they do like the little Buzz Lightyear jets of all the different episodes. I, was, I picked one of them off the other yeah. day as well. And the, the figures are tiny, but I, I got one. I, I just used loads of like brown paints, thinned them down and washed them over. And I was like, these are really good scale for like 28 mil figures. Yeah. It's got loads of sci-fi figures. So yeah. like 40K is a bit more heroic. So normal mm-hmm. 28 mil games. Yeah. It's perfect. Mm. And then uh, we went to a charity shop and there's just like loads. I was like, I'm going to buy more. I'm just going to get more. Don't mind me, darling. She's like, is that for Charlie? No. That one that Dave from MSP yeah. has got, that was a really good size mm. one which was 25 amusing. quid from TK Maxx that is yeah so I cool. checked it out you filled it full of lights now, didn't cheap it? terrain isn't it yeah, yeah it's amazing as long as you don't buy too much but, like, I, I think yeah. that video was what inspired me to, to look to look elsewhere because normally I'd like scratch build or mm. I'd like um, yeah buy, buy kits because when you work for workshop you can get things a bit cheaper because yeah. you have a 50% discount but then seeing how cool the walker I board was. I was like, I need just do this. I just get toys because it's it's sturdy plastic. Mm-hmm. You can only get like the gateway now. You can't get all the oh, really? circle bit, which Bloody is such. Hell. I can make your own, but, but I, he's I'm got always been terrible at that. He's got time for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've, I didn't make anything. I've always been terrible at like like I, I, could, I enjoy scenics, right? I learned mm. a lot about my scenics from. Well, it doesn't YouTube now. We we're talking about earlier. Luke from um, Luke's APS or Keep Giving Me Scenics. I learned a lot of like terrain stuff from him. We did like big six by four green rock boards. I've got all that stuff, Mars boards, desert boards, trenches. So I learned that part and like, you know, I, I can see things and, you know, fiddle, like edit like a kid's toy into something useful. But always, even 30 years ago, I was terrible at like making a house. Yeah, you yeah. know the old like games workshop guide, how to make a house. Like my squares aren't square. Like I can't use tools. Like I'm rubbish and stuff like that. Yeah, so they were always awful. So I'll just buy it now. Well, your blacksmith looked all right. Your little oh, yeah. for uh, Zorpa Zorp. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. never, did it ever turn up? It did, actually. It yeah, did, you actually got it. Yeah, it turned up. The whole rock face was smashed in. It turned up about two weeks late. So he ended up cutting the... Back up. It's in the board though. It's yeah, all right. yeah, yeah. Like, that's good. Scaled it correctly. I don't know if you know about that. So Zorpa Zorp did like a big sort of was it Minas Tirith? Minas Tirith. Yeah, yeah. it was doing Minas Tirith. Right. He was getting the community to like build things. He was just doing a big board, um, and then like the community like yourself like did like a little piece to go over. So you did a blacksmith. That's which right. Made, which made broadswords, right? That's right. Yeah. That was it. The broadsword <laughs> blacksmith. And there was like there was an like Eric hobby workshop. Eric did one. His was just like unbelievably good yeah. I was kind of glad I didn't make it I was like oh shit like, this is amazing look at my little knackered thing yeah. and um, Benji's hobby MS Paint loads of them man it was really cool yeah, yeah, I don't know if we got involved in that we just had a little carpenter's hut that just made pegs yeah, 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 yeah. wonder why that, that would do it we just launched with the orcs like, yeah. peg throwers or whatever. yeah it's amazing oh it? dear you could peg the door closed no one's getting oh, through that absolutely no one's right. getting yeah. through that door <laughs> yeah or just peg an orc and then just be like you've just been pegged yeah, yeah. Just, peg oh, mate yeah. Yeah. humiliation the <laughs> humiliation would pass through the army yeah yes. yeah oh, what, what, oh where's the uh the peg uh, someone sent us it recently didn't they well, the huge oh tactical peg it's on my desk it's got a massive peg no, um, no massive. Uh, somebody made us a score uh, like a, a card for a, a tactical peg 
Uh, <laughs> so you can like, play issue, it yeah. in a Warhammer game oh, and, and, oh, nice. and stuff it's like that. Yeah. Exactly. But my desk is a mess, so I can't find it. <laughs> yeah, it looks clean this side, right? But my issue is like that. Like, yeah. Don't look that way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it's like, it's starting to overflow. Like, it's like the boxes behind you yeah. and stuff like that. But Makes a nice background though, doesn't it? Do you know what I mean? Something like that. Mess. Yeah. 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 So I'd say like your channel's quite, eclectic. not eclectic in a bad way, but in a good way. There's like a lot of different stuff. Yeah. Because sometimes people have a vein of the, the go down and I, and I really enjoy it because you've even done, on which we appreciate. And we, there's a way of getting it into this chat as well. Oh, go on. You did Sharps Rifles with Sean Bean, which is very did. good. So you've even done Napoleon X. Yeah. In comparison to like 40k and stuff. What about that? Do you find that you know like we were saying it's nice to have like a little fun project and then do stuff for the algorithm is that how you tend to operate generally i mean so i don't get a lot of time annoyingly i don't get or well, unfortunately i don't get a lot of time to to make as many videos as i'd like mm. i've got, always got ideas always got 10 projects half on the go and mm. 20 kid toys waiting for their time do you know what i mean like <laughs> the back of the back of the studio or the shop is just full of like oh i'll do that one day and you know like you have your pile of shame yeah my pile of shame is since having the shop has grown it's a rumor shame it's, it's out of control like, <laughs> yeah, I look, yeah. I look, I look, oh god i forgot i had that and like it's just like that and um but yeah, I, I like for me, like I really want to do things that I, I love, right? Like you say, so like Sharp for me, growing up, like yourself, it's just best TV show, awesome, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I met um Harris, um, at, he he did like reenactment stuff, didn't he? Yeah, he's at Salute a lot as well. He used to do signings yeah. at Salute, yeah. I remember um, meeting him, there's there's a good few of those, but man, like, is it Peter Solke or something like that? That's that's it, I think, yeah, 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 yeah. a few of those. I, I love that in jeans, rifleman jacket, and then the little berry, yeah, oh. in jeans and trainers. I was like. <laughs> Cool. There you are, mate. Yeah. <laughs> it's got a table so you don't see that. Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. But, yeah. Like, but like, I love all that stuff. So yeah, like trying to do passion against like algorithm is tough because I don't make a lot of videos. So mm. where where I'm maybe now aiming sort of three every four weeks, um, like one, a, a bad video, a, a poorly performing video, like suffers quite hard because it's mm. another week or two to the next one. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. You know what I mean? it knocks, I feel like YouTube goes in waves, right? Like I yeah. had a good run. And then it goes, right, you've had your go for a bit. Yeah. Down you go. And yeah. then you go, okay, you got a few strugglers. And then you get one good one. You're like, oh, it's great again. And it, do you know what I mean? it does that. So yeah. the mentality yeah. of that, actually, I find um, the mentality is really hard. Um, I'll get serious now. But like, do you know the mindset of like the success and failure? Yeah. And, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and yeah, some days I think, oh, why, like, is, is this all just a big mistake? Like, yeah. Is this a terrible idea? And then you go, oh, great video. And it's good. You put it out and you get your thing. And do you know what I mean? Or you get lovely comments and you get like shitty ones and it all yeah. affects yeah. your mind frame, right? Yeah. Um, and then with the shop as well, it's kind of, all encompassing you know and then Kira streams four days a week so it's like yeah it's become life now so so I've had to really try and like harden up um and, and take those highs and lows yeah I mean I totally appreciate it because we, we've done some videos that I've really enjoyed doing and they're not done so well and I'm like is it because it's the title is it the thumbnail is it the day we put it on is it the content and you're just there second guessing everything yeah. and you get lots of people say nice stuff about it it's just yeah. like, but it's just not hitting enough people for it to, to make an impact so you get that kind of like uh, doubt in your own ability and stuff. So yeah, I can and, and, totally and you think, it. am I just a rubbish like painter? Am yeah, I, yeah, is, is yeah. this a rubbish project? Well, it's, hey, it's so many, so many variables that like, come into it. So you have title, like does it have the title Warhammer in? No, yeah. probably struggle. Like yeah, does yeah. it have a good thumbnail? Has it got me in the thumb or Kira or whatever? Right? There's there's like success and failure factors, and I tend to find the videos I really enjoy doing, like passion ones, get received well. But then YouTube as a, as, a, as an entity just goes like, ah, oh, you know, yeah. everyone that. All the comments are lovely. Yeah, it's yeah. Got a high comment to view ratio, but the views aren't there because it doesn't get put out. So obviously, you know, the broader they go, the lower the click rate, the wider the comments. That section changes, right? So yeah, I suppose it's, it does show the strength of your customer base when you do a passion project that it's only like the ones that really care and watch mm. really engage with it. You don't get your drive by sort of like. Oh, the, I've seen the thumbnail. I'm going to comment without even watching the video. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. cool, great. If you, I mean, if you watch the first two seconds, then you, you you'll find you're wrong, but fine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you see the end, you see how shit it was. But, uh, yeah, but you, you know, you, you get those drive-by uh, commenters because they've got nothing better to do. But, yeah, I, I, but that we had somebody who wouldn't watch us once just because of the colours that Pat had chosen for the words. <laughs> I mean, oh no, it wasn't. It was for the it borders round me. Yeah, that, that's yeah. understandable. They'll tell you as well. I won't watch that. Didn't like that colour. Oh, okay. Well, you may notice that the lights in the background, Ollie, if you just lean slightly that way, they're teal and orange. Oh, that's you've been trolling. Mate, that's, that's, that's the you've been trolling that view yeah. now for about a year. Yeah. yeah. I, I have yeah. the same colours, teal and orange. Right? Yeah. I've got a, yeah. I've got well, a little he, he teal and orange lights. He Those, said, uh, I'm not watching the video because them colours are overused. Was was his, his yeah own yeah I think he, he yeah he he was like I've clicked on it just to leave this comment yeah. and then I bought these they're RGB they can yep. do any colour that you want but you've gone orange and and, and I yeah. put them on that one <laughs> well, um, I'm, just... I'm not petty what what yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you've got to get your victories in every now and then right yeah, yeah. Every, uh, every no matter time, how small they are yeah, yeah. yeah every time I turn them on I'm just like. 
Tee-hee. Fuck that guy. Yeah, I've got, I've got a little message here that's got a middle finger stick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You're, you're a cranker. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know how this works. Sorry. Yeah. 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 Down. But I mean, there's a reason for that colour, right? It's either like yeah. purple or green or teal and orange. Yeah, and that's how yeah. like, that colour works. So It's called complementary colours. Yeah. That's, indeed, uh, that's yeah. the one. Well, fortunately, you don't create com- complementary compliments. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, it, is, it is overused. Um, I like I, I, I will cool. give him that. Yeah, nice. yeah, it's yeah, overused like, for a reason. Yeah. Yeah, because it works. I think it was like when the Star Wars sequels were coming out oh, yeah. and, and they really lent into it and then like loads of other films were like oh Star Wars is doing that and yeah and Aladdin did yeah. it and stuff like that yes, didn't yeah it? that and, was and, it and, yeah. then, and he was yeah. like oh we'll be watching and, this and people put like this is such a weird trilogy and they put the movie posters and it was like Aladdin was the first one and then <laughs> Star Wars was the yeah. second one yeah. and I can't remember what, what the, the other, other one was, was but it, it was one, yeah, yeah yeah that's yeah. what's Yoda doing in Aladdin yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. he's the yeah. genie man yeah because yeah. yeah. all the branding was just all the same it was all teal and orange yeah, yeah. yeah. But like you say it catches people it's like, it just looks nice doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I, I like, yeah. like that I like having a nice Nice background and stuff. I spend loads of time concentrating on stuff that people don't even notice. Yeah. Well, I feel like they don't. Yeah. But I often yeah. wonder if I didn't have it there, would they be like, oh, it looks a bit shit there? Instead well, that, of like, well, that's mm. the best lighting is you're not, you're not noticing it, actively noticing it. It just feels pleasant mm. to the eye. And, and you, you said why you wouldn't be able to put your finger on it. That's, yeah. That's yeah. the best sort, really, isn't it? I, I waste far too much time editing stuff like that. Yeah. So, oh, music drop. And I'm like, oh, let's cut to the beat. And I'm like, like do do done. Like, no one would notice or care, but I go, yeah. oh, I like that bit. But I bet they would if you didn't. Well, that's it. Yeah. I, I think you never know, right? Like, yeah. Would, would you? Like, yeah. Would, well, I'll turn this big light off. There we go. Oh, no, and then no. we'll see how terrible oh everything my God, looks. Oh, it's <laughs> dark. I mean, oh. that does look quite moody. I you see. know when we talk yeah. about our um, yeah. painting phase after dark. That's how it's after look. Wouldn't yeah. It? yeah. Break out the pegs. It's like yeah. a night out, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh God, turn the lights off. Turn the lights off. <laughs> <laughs> but no, they I, looked like they were speed dating then for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We could do that. We could do that. Yeah. I did that once. I did when I was like younger. I did doggy. There was like not. Oh, that's, that's not speed that's tape. That's not speed tape. That's something else. That's what it was. Yeah. You call it what you like, but that's not what it is. I did dogging. No, doggy. Doggy speed dating, it was called. Right? So when I was like an actor. Doggy. Like, what, you're just in that position. So I know we've only just met, but. Um, so, so they, they did us from here. They did a show. They did a show. It was like, like Alan Titchmarsh or something was around this ages ago, man, like 20 years ago. And I was an actor from like my teens to my, my early 30s. My 30s. And um, they, were, they were doing 101 Dimensions. It got like a re-release or something. So it was like 101 Dimensions again. So they wanted to do like, you know, the, the two dogs met each other and that's how the owners met. Yeah. So I said, oh, we'll do this thing. We'll set it up. So I went to some pub in London. It's only about 19. And they go, I've got a Dimension. So I said, I'll bring my Dimension. They go, yeah, we'll match you up with someone else and we'll see if the dog's gone. And um, man, it was like the most awkward thing ever. It was like fake reality TV, right? So they go, oh, you know, we'll record you. And it was me. And they go, that dog really gets on with yours. So you go at that woman. And like, <laughs> lovely woman. But I was 19. She must have been like mid, late 40s. And they're like, you two, great. You can walk off together. I was like, Okay. <laughs> she had a little chihuahua and I had a giant Dalmatian and someone was like 30 years old as me I was like oh you know this is this is, this is great like you wander off up the street and hold your hands or something I was like yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, just, just a weird experience as a kid. I, 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 like, like, oh, there you go. I don't know. I did some, did some doggy speed dating. Once. I mean, I, I dated a pot of uh, was it Devil in Mud or Noon Oil? For, oh, did you? Oh yeah, I had to do that as a weird thing for a video. So you know, there's, there's <laughs> it's all coming out now. <laughs> yeah, there, there's stuff in there. Do you not remember this? They, no. they did a Valentine's video where I was like oh. sort of suggestively getting yes. on with a pot of paint. Oh, did, and did I was you... asked to take. I've had to take it off because it's made my finger sore. But I was asked to take my wedding ring off. I was like, I've never taken my wedding ring off. I was like, yeah, but you could for this because you know you like dating and it'd be weird if you're married I was like but I am married and it's a pot of paint D- yeah it's <laughs> not yeah, but real you know what? it would have been cooler though if you'd been having an affair with a pot of paint yeah. Yeah. I, video with that. I, mean, <laughs> I think that's what they're getting at did, did you get like, there did you get did you, did you pull the pot of paint did it just went out? everywhere doesn't normally uh, happen on the first night, but it did. That was such a weird video. It was fun, but it was so weird. Just like they're like, can you just suggestively like wink and kiss at the camera? I was like, this is so weird. I don't get paid enough for this. Was this the <laughs> like, like workshop one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did, did you one. have a meal with it, like a romantic yeah, dinner? A romantic dinner. Yeah. yeah. Then it just, I think it got poured over the table. Just, something like it's that. a cheap date though, isn't it? It was a cheap date. Yeah. Yeah. Like didn't really movie. Typhus, it was a waste of paint, if I'm honest. With the type with the typhus corrosion. If you get my death. God's army done. I'll leave my wife for you. <laughs> <laughs> you, want, you want streaking grime, mate? That's what you want. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely right. that's the yeah. Awesome. Dirty down. Oh. Take oh. It tastes bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think the enamels really mess up your insides. Yeah. yeah. Don't they? Mm. yeah. So, oh passion project wise with, with videos, mm. which, which has been your favourite then that you've done? Favourite video I've done? 
as a passion project, not as like numbers and like algorithm and stuff. Do you know? Do you know? I did really enjoy the sharp one. Yeah, I got to watch Sharp and play the intro. And yeah, yeah, make yeah, little yeah. shots of Harper. That was like that was actually like one I really loved. I um, I really enjoyed actually. You know that when the Avatar came out, I got the new Avatar, and that for me that was like a painting passion. I, like I always had Eldar from yeah. the early nineties, and always the Avatar's always been shit, right? Like a little shit model, and yeah, it's yeah. like a medium shit model, and that's really good. So I painted that. It didn't do like particularly well, but it was like my, my favourite paint job I've ever done. Like it was that's like all that matters. Yeah, I so, really enjoyed yeah, it. Don't so, worry about and it. it was like I've got this cool model that I really like now. Like that was a really cool. So like, between that or sharp, maybe, and then I did. Um, I do. I do enjoy the board builds. Mm. I, I think. Oh no, I go. It's the nineties one. I did the nineties uh, terrain using that book. Making oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, I remember yes. that, that, book. Like, that was amazing. Yeah, like, yeah. For like a video, I, I, I wanted to do more, but at the same time, you're like you know, if you, they drag on too long and it becomes a bit too worky, I was mm. like, you know, I'm just gonna leave it there. There's like ten bits of terrain that'll do. I'd like to yeah. do a castle and stuff, but it got to the point where I was like, I don't want. I don't want to like make it so I don't enjoy it. But like, man, that's like my childhood in a. In a yeah. In a, yeah, book, we, we had Eric on a um, start of last year. It was last, it was Friday. Oh my day! Where are we? Uh, we're on Monday, Tuesday, aren't we? So yeah, it was last week. And we had Eric on, and we we're talking about that book mm. and stuff. And I, I, I think my favourite thing from that book was making the hedgerows out of scouring pads and yeah. stuff like that. I've still got that book at home. It's such a good resource for. Uh, it's, it, it's great for like you know cheap cheap terrain making. Yeah, like I had, yeah. I was going to do the hedge with the scouring pads, but I, that's when I was like, I don't like yeah, drag yeah, this yeah. out anymore. But um, yeah, it's such a good book really even now like sure that some of the things we use are a bit dated like techniques wise but yeah but even then i think like recycling like tubes cardboard tubes tins tin straws mm. turn them into like little refineries and stuff and something eric touched on which is like you know it's just buy stuff now and it doesn't show that creative element of like using what you've got yeah to make a cool board as a starting thing and showing that in like white dwarfs and showing that in like uh codex and stuff like this is a starting point and then as time goes on you can buy this Senior kit by that senior kit, but this is a good way to get started. Mm. I mean, remember the old old grav tank, which was just like a link shower bowl. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I remember yeah, that yeah. one. Yeah, <laughs> that was so good. So, I mean, yeah, granted the kit wasn't available at the time, but it's, it's My, pretty good. I don't know this. I'm going to have to get yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the old. Yeah. When, the old used to be like a flat, a very flat bottle, didn't they? Yeah, they were very flat and rounded on the edges, so mm. you basically just put it. Like a flat a tablet a, sort of shape, yeah, 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 like a yeah. tablet sort of shape, and then he just put it flat, and then started sticking guns on it, and it looked like a hovering, <laughs> yeah, like speed, sort of speeder from like Star Wars kind of job, yeah, 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 like yeah. That, that sort of feel to yeah, it. it was like, so cool. cool. One like, of my uh, old staff members, there was a um, a set of instructions to build a bane blade, and he did it. And I felt so bad. He built this bane blade. It was amazing. Did a really good job. His, his color scheme was weird because he did all the guns with like a red tip on it. it was just like, mm. do you know, it looks a bit phallic, don't you? Like, <laughs> and you know, you got the, the big plasma cannon. There was a, oh. um, I forget, I think it's called the Execution, which is like Lehman Ross. It has a plasma cannon to yeah, it. Yeah. Purple cannon with a big red tip. And, and I was like, how's the bowl was in? How are you not jokes write this? themselves. Yeah. But he, he made this Bane Blade. It was all out of plastic card and cardboard. It looked really good. And he made he got like loads of little, um, you know, when you hole punch, you get like little tiny ones. He made loads of little rivets out of that. A week later, they brought out the plastic Bane Blade. Oh, oh no. you're joking. <laughs> Bless. I'm so sorry. But oh, he, bless he, had him. he had his own. But so. it's cool to build those things. Exactly. Right? And yeah. I, that, that's, that is now, to be honest, like you say, like, uh, like I, I got into the hobby in 92 and that like element is missing a little bit yeah. now, right? Like I, I feel like everything is quite, I suppose with the invent of the internet over the last, whatever, like 15 years, Warhammer's boomed right in the last 10 years on the internet. I think now like, you know, everything's kind of, it's quite can be quite cut and paste sometimes. It's like, oh, this is like the strong army. These are the yeah. strong units. These are the strong models. So it ends up a little bit like that, that, that flair, yeah, possibly it has gone a little bit. Uh, and time is different, right? Like, it's just it I think some, a bit. some skills maybe as well, because like mm. if you look at like military modelers and model railways um, enthusiasts, they they use a lot of simple methods to make really interesting things. And because I'm not into that now, like, yeah, that kind of side of stuff, and I don't get the magazines for that. I, I tend to like be fantasy sci-fi. Um, I guess I've narrowed my. Mm. my creativity whereas if I just stopped for a bit and looked at what other people do because one of the the wildest things that I never even thought about I was doing like a six scale head I probably mentioned on the channel before but um, the guy was painting his face and he put loads of Lamy medium on it because you can do it with airbrushes he was like if you don't have an airbrush this is the best way to do it so he coats he's got like a flesh tone coats it all in like Lamy medium and then gets some red wash flicks it get some purple wash, flicks it, get some blue wash, flicks it, and then just use that same skin tone, really thins it down as a glaze, and it just looks like all the... Oh, wow. And it was just, like, just a large-scale modelling technique, yeah, which yeah, gave you, right. instead of just being like a flat flesh, it gave texture and looked like pores on your oh, skin and stuff oh, like that. Awesome. And I was like, I could do that on a giant, because that's large-scale, that worked really well. Hmm. Um, so stuff like that, that you just 
will miss if you're not paying attention to all those different I, I think so I, I mean like one thing I've always been very very like proud of Kira for doing is at the start she she is never afraid to just try something totally new right she tries a lot of like, techniques I'd never done mm. she's like oh, I'll sort on some thing give it a go it might look crap it might not work she might not be good at it, whatever but like I think you learn a lot by doing that yeah. you go there's, there's things like there's things now I'm a bit stuck in my ways sometimes yeah, so I like this that's a good technique that's a good paint and I think like, unless I try something new so like airbrushing for me was a huge like hurdle do you know, a huge milestone that's, that, mm. that's, that's the most successful video on my channel actually is an air, airbrushing how to oddly yeah. um, but like I, I really wanted to make it so people weren't afraid to do it do you know what I mean I feel like there's a big fear on that yeah, 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 yeah like, oh, I think so expensive, yeah. it's whatever I had like a 30 quid airbrush off Amazon didn't use it for six months um, and then go, oh, you know, I'll give it a go. And it's, it's not scary. It's a great tool to have. But like now I I find I really enjoy the airbrush. It, it almost makes me avoid using the brush as much as possible. So mm. if I can airbrush a full model and not touch a brush, I'll be happy. Yeah. But the problem is that is you lose your brush skills. You know? So, yeah, so yeah. I don't blend as much now because I think I'll do it with the airbrush or contrast. Um, so yeah, you lose skills as well. If you don't try new things, you never... Like you've got to fail, right? Yeah. And you learn it. Um, I'm terrible for it. I've got to be honest, I stick in my own ways. What, what has made me better is sensible bio strip. Mm -hmm. And I go, oh, I'll try this. Oh, it didn't work. You can yeah, go, yeah. you can go yeah. and have a bath, and I'll, I'll have another <laughs> go and I'll try it again. Yeah. Yeah, 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 here's you know a a bio strip is now available at Broadsword Wargaming. .com. Nice. Oh, is it's it really? really? I just it. What's what did you say it's available at? at Broadswordwargaming.com. dot <laughs> com. Oh, really? It's kind of but cheap shipping around Europe. No, like, <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we have that right. We just got that last week. Um, I love bio strip. Like it's exactly yeah. that. Like I have ruined it. Oh no, it's fine again. Yeah. Like it, you know, yeah. I know there's loads of products like that. Whatever they're called in America, it's called like. Simple green or something. Like, yeah, it's like paint blitz. It's all this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff. yeah. You know I mean, it's it's brilliant. Like what? A, like if you ruin something, whack it in. Elbow yeah. grease from B and M. Yeah, that elbow grease. It's like a spray, which is basically simple green, but the UK version of it. Oh, I thought like, yeah. I thought doing one of those chicks like go get me a can of elbow grease. Like, no, oh, no, that's <laughs> what it's called. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like, it's it's like elbow a grease. spray, like a like a in answer, you know, like a like your spray you would use for your, yeah. your kitchen worktops, but. Yeah, just pour some of that into like mm. a old Chinese um, takeaway tub through your miniature, and, and yep. you have to work a little bit harder with it than you do with BioStrip, but it still does a really good job. People use brown Dettol too, don't they? Although I, I hate oh, that because it comes off like chewing gum. It's all so goopy. Yeah, yeah. yeah I just Nat hate Natalie that. Slynn, um, shout out to Natalie. She's in uh, the Heavy Metal team now, but when she was in the Army Painting team, she used to get like a cup and just spray like a ceramic cup and just spray uh, fairy power spray on a plastic oh. model didn't melt the plastic a fairy power, power spray will melt your hands yeah I was I was quite proud of myself the other week because I actually I'd, I was doing a sword and I'd made a bit of an arse of it and I um, I literally just took some um, took some of the bio strip on a old brush and I just mm. just paint I just put yeah. it on straight onto the and then Worked away. I was like, I've, I've done that with some, yeah, with some yeah, clothes. Yeah, let's do that yeah. again in future. That's the way. Instead of going, oh, the whole thing yeah, is ruined. Yeah, yeah, it's just a set just, you know, or whatever. Yeah, or yeah. Yeah. It is a question you see a lot on the internet, right? Like, how do I strip my models? What's a good product? It's like, like I did a video on bio strip. I used to have a sandblasting cabinet, actually, like a real high mm. power, like industrial sandblasting cabinet, oddly, yeah. back in the first studio here in Grantham. And I, I used that, and like, you'd think that would wreck the models, but it doesn't. It's such a fine grit. Yeah. I, I even I sandblasted my. Um, Forge World Primarchs, uh, Ferris Manus. I, I did it in a video. Everyone's like, no, nah, there's no way That's that works. Brave. And I was like, <laughs> you know what? I, I know it works. I've done it a lot. I was like, there you go. I blasted them out. And they go, Jesus, like, it does work. So there's lots of ways to do it, but like easy ways. I've been doing a lot of metal because I've got a load of second edition models again. Mm. I, that's like great in meth methylated spirit, right? Just dunk it in, yeah. take it out, it's done. Um, and then things like plastics and resins, bio strip, done. Right? Yeah. It's, the, yeah. It's products and it's, yeah. it's, it's money saving as well, isn't it? You don't want to yeah. waste yeah. your models. Yeah. Because um, you were talking about using the airbrush, I enjoyed that video where you talk about space marines, you do like all the different techniques oh, yeah. and stuff. Have you seen the new technique that's going around? Uh, someone illuminated is on, I think it was on live stream, which is like, I mean, I do it all the time for like, did it with a Sarge's cloak, but using sponge to lay down the base coats, then do like the edge highlights. Mm. It's just like, it's weird, but works quite nice. It's like stipply sponging, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's an interesting... It's probably going to be like, you know, going to get a lot of stick being the new slap job. But well, yeah. if you can come up yeah. with a new cool name for it, we'll do a video going, that sponging is called this. <laughs> oh. And, and then a million people will watch it. We'll call it dogging. Dogging, yeah, why not? Yeah, dogging, sponge dogging. I mean, yeah, sponge sponge dogging. dogging. Yeah. Painting, like painting an army with the dogging method. <laughs> yeah. You get the peg to hold the sponge. You can do sponge oh, pegging. Oh, sponge pegging. Yeah, Jeez. hire this hold man. Hire him. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's the consult consultation fee. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. But um, we'll no, sort that, out later. I love like sponging. That's, that's something I just got to my brother. He's a uh, my both my brothers actually, but one of my brothers is a really, really, really good painter, and he um. He was talking about the last, the, my favourite of those Ultramines I did was like his technique. Yes, yeah, and um, yeah. I used like sponging. So like, you know, like, edge highlighting is a bit like, can be quite tough, particularly mm. if you're not like that adept with the brush. As a new person, you know, you mm. learn, okay, this is what Games Workers say, 
base, whatever, highlight, highlight, and you end up with these just horrible thick highlights everywhere. Like a sponge. Sponge like the lightest colour on, you get a bit of weathering, you get like a nice edge. Yeah. I mean you don't have to like highlight every element. But if it feels a bit battered as well, yeah, so, yeah. a bit more real, like, yeah. sure, I like the clean look, but if if it's easier, like you, you don't you can't mess it up. Yeah. Really. Whereas that like, edge highlight you can go, oh god, I've yeah. the whole yeah. model. So it's such a nice way to do that and it looks good. Yeah. Uh, it's like with um been inspired by him visiting him using uh, Byron's uh Arthur Sopus um Dry brush, and you can start to get some really great edge highlight and just using them as well. It just, it's just, just so much just sorts I like itself out. Stippling them on, yeah, yeah stippling on, yeah. and then you know, and then if you do, you can actually just go oh, to a really and get an, yeah. an edge highlight on them really, yeah. really easily as well. Yeah, it's, it's, I don't know, I don't know, like whether they kind of interchangeable now. I mean, like dry brushing, over brushing, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, those things like just flick up the back of the legs. And, and like, I, actually, I watched the video with Byron, and he was saying it's great advice in there, right? He knows, he knows his. It's dry brushing stuff. Yeah. Like, well, you know, where dry brushing is always assumed to be this chalky, horrible mess, mm. but like, it, doesn't, it doesn't have to be. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's yeah, a great absolutely. technique. Yeah, yeah. And, and um, I, yeah. I recently did um, uh, Darth Moore. I want to do like an alternate what if version. Lovely, of the, by the way. Yeah. Thank you. I've, it is really uh, nearly nice. nearly finished a Sarge. Uh, I've, I've done it because she's got two blades. When she was a Padawan, she uh, she had a green lightsaber. All oh, right. Then she turns to the dark side because uh, her master gets killed and Dooku takes over. But then later on, she's on a quest to free Quinlan Voss. Um, oh yeah, yeah, they're lovers. Um, oh, and they... she ends up getting a yellow. Oh, I feel like I'm getting like Jedi gossip here. Really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 She ends up getting a yellow lightsaber. So because she's got two, I thought I'll just do a homage to both, like yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. and one and whatever. Oh, but... one blue, one yellow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm, the plan is to do all the characters in the reverse sort of style. So like all the Republic as separatists and vice versa. Star Wars, what if? So what, you got, yeah, you got Darth Maul with blue lightsabers. Yes, yeah, so like, I've done yeah. him with double blue, and I've done him like uh, in like pale sort of like robes. But I, I added a bit more texture to his cloth than is because I dry brushed pretty much most of the model um, using like Byron's technique and stuff. But I, I was purposely more chalky with the robes to give it that kind of hessian sort of like mm, sack yeah off. it looks really good it looks yeah, so really good definitely gives it texture but is yeah there he is yeah oh man darth maul as that a, is very good as a goodie um it's good. it's i really quite, like that you know I, what i like is the fact that it's like robot legs but clone trooper legs yeah, all at yeah, once yeah, it's yeah, got a yeah. really nice feel about thought, it if he's going to get a republic you might as well paint them white right yeah yeah absolutely um, right. but it's i purposely didn't good. do all the black because then it looks like it matches the leg greaves that the that the sto- that the Jedi wear yeah, as well, doesn't yeah, it? It's yeah. a lovely because that's why I did the shoulders. So yeah. I know it only goes on one side, but I did it on both because it looked quite nice. On yeah, it's I cool. Yeah, then he magically got robot legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, falls yeah. down a giant hole and yeah. whatever. In he's all right. And yeah. 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 Whereas yeah. where I was watching, Qui Gon Jinn gets a bit stabbed and he's like, "Oh, I'm dead." Dead. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's yeah right. But funny enough, <laughs> yeah, dead. And then he gets chopped in half and sent down. And yeah, but you know the really funny thing is, of all places today, when I was having a coffee while I was waiting for you at the train station, a guy had spotted me in a stormtrooper t-shirt working, and he was instantly went into Star Wars mode. He went. Oh, what, did you like the Obi Wan series? I went. It was okay. I said, yeah. I said bits of it were good, better than others. And he, I said, the thing that did get me though was the fact that you know Qui Gon gets a lightsaber through the stomach, dead. Oh yeah. Two people get a lightsaber through the stomach in Obi Wan Kenobi, live. I was like, it's just a bit. Yeah. Random, yeah, yeah. It? She drags herself off to a ship, flies to another planet, chases some kid into the desert, and she's like, and the planet, she's like, oh, I'm alright. And and the other yeah. guy, the um, the the the. Inc- Grand Inquisitor. Oh yeah, because she stabbed him as well, uh, and he yeah. was like, "Oh, it was a bit." Yeah, ma- ma- well, he was, was stabbed, he was stabbed here. As yeah, maybe, maybe, so maybe. It's yeah. A yeah. Good Everyone knows maybe. All, all the important bits are a bit lower. Yeah. His heart yeah. is actually right down here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all right actually. Guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. I can stab. Okay. Yeah, he's not actually a glowing blue. He's just like, <laughs> got some weird sort of radiation wow, poisoning. Space Marine plays now. It's called plot armor. Isn't yeah. It? Yeah. 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 yeah, that's it. Yeah, Grand Grand Inquisitor went. I'll survive this. I've got an invulnerable save. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've got an iron halo, it's fine. I keep meaning to get into the Star Wars stuff. I mean, I love, I, mean, I like Star Wars. Clone Wars cool. is awesome. I keep meaning to get into all that. I've got some Legion models, I've got, like, there's loads of games that I'd love to do more of on the channel. Like I said, more like Passion is, like Skyrim, yeah. Fallout, Star Wars. There's so many of those brands out there now which I love, right? Yeah. But yeah. Never really get the time. You know? Yeah, I know. Mean, I'm, I'm going to be a bit naughty and I've, I, I played Shadowpoint, really like it. Um, took a while to get understand the rules. I quite like Legion, but because I, I love Warcry and how the rules work, and there's uh, places like Optimal Game State where you can just make your own cards. I'm just going to get photos of my Star Wars figures and give them Warcry rules and play Star Wars with Warcry rules. Why not? As I've said, no one boots your door down, do they? Well, no, do what you want. Soon find so, out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've got two companies coming after yeah. you now. Yeah. Yeah. Star Wars, the game yeah. Cancel yeah. gone. Look at that. You're like, like outside. <laughs> what, yeah. It was at Atomic Mass, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Atomic yeah. Mass outside your door in a games workshop. So what, like, what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The double Pinkertons are wherever out there. So much trouble right now. Yeah.
brand, right? And that was yeah. I know there was other things, but I mean, even then they weren't that great. I mean, you know, the, the close you can get was like Airfix yeah. for like historicals, and then it wasn't until like the Perrys moved on and started doing their own thing. And then as time's gone on, you got like Warlord Games, which are an offshoot. It's like literally where old staff go yeah. to <laughs> when they leave. They're like, we're gonna go to Warlord or Mantic. Um, yeah. It's so it's, it's yeah pro- progression it's more. But there's a lot of more choice. Like, yeah, I suppose. With, 3D printing as well, more things yeah. becoming available, more licenses are getting picked up, like the industry's growing, so there's a lot more choice for people. So, you know, like if, if you like just the painting, then there's probably something out there for yeah. you, you know. Um, what got you into the hobby? Um, I was, I was, I got two older brothers, so they would have been like, I was like, I, I know, know that feeling, by the way. Set, oh, dear, I'm yeah. the youngest of the three, I, and it's the same, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? The little, the little whipping boy, that's, yeah, that's, yeah. that's my job, but um, yeah, they got into it. I forget, they must have seen. Like with White Dwarf magazines, right? There was there wasn't internet whatever then, so it's White Dwarf magazines. So we used to go get down the local shop, look at those, and be like, oh, this is cool, this is cool. So I got a pack of, and we went in. Me and my two brothers, parents, or whatever, and we went. I got a pack of the Eldar Guardians. Um, my brother got some Gene Stealers, always called them Guinness Stellars at the time. <laughs> and my other brother got the nice. Death Guard, uh, not Death, Death Company, um, the old Death Company box. Mm. So he just got into those, and then I don't think I think throughout my entire life I've never not not yeah. done it. Like uh, whether I've been touring or whatever I've been doing, they've always it's, it's like. It's always been a good like like mind break. A little bit different now. I've kind of turned it into a, a, a job. Yeah, it's it's changed the hobby or, or certainly my passions. But um, it's always been there as something I've always done. You know, yeah. it's always a, a safety net. Like my, the models will never leave you. you know, whatever's gone on in life, yeah. that's there, and it's, yeah. it turned yeah. off. And it's it's like okay, I can just sit and do this for two hours tonight. I don't want to think about someone else. Do that, whatever. Yeah. And, and so like the stories and all that kind of stuff. All the old books, the old pictures. You know, like so. Actually, recently I, I managed it. Cost me like more than it probably should have. But I managed to find some new inbox stuff. So I gifted both my brothers their original sets, brand new uh, inbox, amazing. and I've got a load of... The Elder was my first unit, but the Space Wars was my first army, so I found like a new inbox, um, Beyond the Fell Handed, Long Fangs, whatever. Oh, wow. I've got the old codexes. I've got, I, literally, I think I've got nearly everything now that's from second edition, all the codexes. Got the box recently in near enough new condition one. It's just Dark Millennium and the Sisters of Battle Codex, I think that's all I'm missing now. Mm. I've got everything. So it's like, that's, do you know... Just that's lovely good, to look yeah, at. That's yeah, like childhood yeah. again. Yeah, and, yeah, um, absolutely. So it's just always been there, I think. And something me and my two brothers over the years, the where we've been, have always kind of connected over. So we have our little toy chat group, and whatever's going on, you can say, "Oh, how's how's the hobby going?" So yeah. it's been a lovely connector, really, for that. Yeah. Did, did you often play a, a lot with each other? Then? Yeah, yeah, all the time. I mean, um, we were in Warhammer World last week. Actually, I wasn't playing, but they played the doubles together, and we used to do a lot of Harris Heresy events. I used to go to fantasy events. I mean, back then, like Games Workshop were were the only places I could play. Yeah. Games Workshop Peterborough is where I kind of grew up um, and then we used to go to you know we used to get the bus to games day you know the games yeah, used to organise yeah, the buses yeah. oh yeah yeah take you there. Yeah, about that, yeah. yeah and you used to get like I entered the young I actually broke my arm um, on the way there as a kid I was like <laughs> 11 or something or 12 <laughs> I tripped over a step it was at the NEC I had, I'd made a Nair the Prophetess like yeah. the Wood Elf uh, character yeah, okay. I converted one and painted that as a yeah. kid and I um, was in the queue I was like an accident prone kid, broke my neck, arm, legs, everything, ribs, Holy operations. Holy crap. I'm like, somehow I was still walking around. Um, <laughs> I, I was in the queue and I just tripped over a step, landed, whatever, broke my arm, up, bit popped out, wrist went, and um, smashed my model. And it was, that was at like nine in the morning. So you know, my parents get the call, like, oh, there's been an accident. Oh, Jesus, it's Oliver, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's he done now? He's broken his arm. That like, oh, we'll get you back home. Is that all? Yeah, they're like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is he still alive? And they were like, all right, do you know what I said to them? I was like, I just, I, I, like, I just got here. Like, I'm not, I don't want to go home. Yeah, so yeah. I have my two brothers as like the security guys basically in front of you. Know, yeah, guys, yeah. You know, it's me like this on my arm half popping out and it's, oh, yeah, I stayed there all day I got the bus home. Yeah. Like, I stayed there all day with the broken <laughs> 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 so, trooper. I used to want like, there was a Space Wolf character that year it was like, I don't know 98 or something a Space Wolf character there and I was like oh, wait, go get me that so he bullies his way to the front you know I mean like it was and yeah. pushy Chubby is limited one. So yeah, all day with a broken arm, went home and was like, oh, let's get that sorted out. <laughs> That's my dedication. Yeah, I know. That, that is hobby. Kudos to you for that. Yeah, hobby. <laughs> Smash my model there. I was like, I yeah, I, uh, my, my only breakage ever bad or injury was, it was all the staff before, I can't remember what games day was now. It was probably like 2012, 2011 or something like that. And they normally before the staff go to games day that you have like a burger a lot of like a cob a breakfast cob of tea before you get because it's like really early in the morning because you've got to get there get set up and stuff and I was just having a bacon cob and my tooth just cracked whilst I was eating it oh, no. and I was in pain for most of the day because I was like well I've got to go 
I've got, I can't do anything with it. So yeah. a couple of like paracetamols and that was it. Oh, so God. painful though. Oh yeah, it was because like, at that time I, I think my wisdom tooth was coming in horizontally and it just cracked the tooth that it was moving oh, into. Wow. So that that Ow. little tooth had just cracked and just fell to pieces. While well, at the softest thing in the world, which yeah, was a cob. <laughs> a bread. <laughs> yeah. I'm just like an, ah. <laughs> oh wait, mm. cob or bap or whatever, right? Where, where oh. are we here? Are we cobland here or bap land? But whatever you want, uh, you know, whatever uh, you want. Uh, the Midlands is the melting pot. Nottingham, I think, is. Cob. 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 Um, I'd, call, I'd call it a bun. Yeah, oh, roll or bun. something like oh, that. Oh, I'm gone. That, 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 that's contentious. In the okay. comments, please. <laughs> Buns, cobs, baps. The hobby chat stops now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We've made the real, the real talk now. Yeah. Buns, cobs, baps, balm cake. Yeah, yeah. Like? Tea cakes I've heard as well. Is it for said, bread? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my good God. Come on. Uh, is tea cakes the little, the little... The guy from Lancashire says the tea cakes. Because a, a tea cake is a literal its own thing. Yeah, it's the marshmallow and chocolate. Tea cake things. Oh no, yeah. no, we're talking the other ones, which oh. are like the, um, oh, the with raisins. With the raisins, yeah, yeah. Raisins. Yeah, yeah. raisins, yeah. raisins, raisins, raisins is a tea Someone cake. also questions that they're also known as tea cakes. Uh, oh, so is your northeast? Do they say stotty, stotty. or is that its own I thing? Think, I think a stotty is its own thing. As oh, well, okay, isn't yeah. yeah. Isn't it like soggy? Don't mind me while I just eat my cube. <laughs> 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 yeah, isn't it like what is it like soggy bottom oven cake or something? That's a northern. Oh, we used to have um, used to have these ones in Liverpool, which was like when the uh, at the end of the day, if the bakers had things they hadn't sold, they chop them all back up again and they'd make a new type of cake out of the bits, and oh. it was called a Docker's wedding cake. It was the densest thing in the world. You know, if you put a slice down near a cup of tea, it would just drink the tea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's not a tea cake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It literally was just by osmosis. It just been dragged. <laughs> No more comments. We've got it. Yeah. It was like this really dense cake, but it was like, you know, one slice to go. We go, what do you want for dinner? Nothing. I'll probably only eat for three or four days. Yeah. Like, is that yeah. what it's had? Yeah. Is that like some friend. Docker's wedding cake for me lunch? I'm done. Oh, that's incredible. <laughs> oh, you know, it's actually great timing. I did bring you gifts. Oh. So, so obviously English, but living in Ireland for a couple of years now, I've learned a few, I don't offend all the Irish people because I can't do it. I won't, can't do an Irish accent. I won't, I won't ever, but I live in Ireland down in the South. There's a few things I've Where in the there. South are you, by the way? I'm about an hour north of Galway. Oh wow! So, like, so you're a fair, on the west. You're, fair, you're a fair chunk down then. Yeah, 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 yeah. Half, halfway down a bit. Yeah, right? yeah. Um, but I bought you some. I bought you some Irish stuff. Oh, like, so interesting. I, I couldn't be a full box, but I did bring you one Barry's tea <laughs> tea bag. Right <laughs> now. I don't know. I can't tell my father Barry's put it in tea. case. Yeah. It's going to be breaking case yeah. of emergency. Yeah, yeah. Barry's tea. <laughs> I, I think it's best used for that, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'll be honest, as an English man, a tea drinker. Not my fave. I bought you <laughs> snack bars, snack. right? Are they yeah. called snacks? Yeah, snack bars. <laughs> right? That's very on the nose, where, isn't it? Where, I'm from, where I'm from, they say snack, right? In, in Ireland, <laughs> snack. You know, snack bar. So I've never seen them before. Snack bars, snack bars. And, by Cadbury's as well. And this is yeah. the real debate, really, between the north and south. Oh, I've heard these no, are amazing. They, they are right? oh, awesome because I served in an Irish regiment. Oh yeah. Um, and mostly Northern Irish guys, but they still were a big fan of them. That's and Tato was like. It was Tato or death. It was just that was the only crisp <laughs> to talk I, about. I have <laughs> learned there's a, there's there's a there's a divide. There's a fight on. There's Tato versus Northern Irish Tato, and they're different. The man's different. Oh. They're both called Tato. Like, really? Is, yeah. Oh. That's, that's a big debate. That, oh, yeah. Wow. Northern, wow. Iri Northern Irish Tato cheese and onion are phenomenal. I, I would say I've got a multi bag, but smoky bacon. I've never seen smoky bacon Tato, but the other two cheese and onion and that. Oh, that's, 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 that's the, you're very the kind. I bought some Irish stuff as a, oh, a Tato. Thank you, Ollie. Tato. Oh, yeah, yeah, smash him, stick him yeah. in the stool. There's Tato <laughs> man. So it's um. But there you go. So I'd be You've right got up. a hat. There you go. <laughs> yeah, you could be you know, you must, you've got to give a wave in a red jacket like a buttons I do this oh my God. I've got my own school jacket I can do this at, 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 you're like AliExpress Tato do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what you're what you have oh. <laughs> that's not me yeah, that's incredible oh, you Thank know you. I don't know Barry C no snack bars sure Tato yeah you know Tato's it's not walkers but yeah. oh you won't be allowed back in I though. know Kira does love a walkers though, so you know, yeah. it's that it's Tato Kings as well. There's all these debates over there. Uh, I'm only I'm only new to it, but my lad's a fan of. I introduced them by accident because they're my favourite crisp prawn cocktail. He refers to them as pink crisps. Pink crisps. Is that pink crisps? Pink crisps. Crisp, prawn please. cocktail are a very strong crisp. Oh, they're so opinion. good. They're and my no prawns in it, just ketchup. Yeah, yeah. they're so good. It's like such a lie. Very very good as a butty prawn mm. cocktail. Mm. Have you ever had um, Brussels sprout crisps? 
Cause oh, I haven't, to, but I do like Brussels sprouts. Yeah, I like. I see. There, there, there's a thing. There's. I've heard this. I was talking to one of the uh, catering staff at workshop a few years back because I'm a big fan of Brussels sprouts. I was like, does no one else eat Brussels sprouts? What's wrong with them? She's like, weirdly, there's a there's a chemical in it that just puts people off. Yeah, you either are drawn to it. It's yeah, like, it's like marmite. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but now that was a great crisp. I, 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 I'm still bereft of when uh, Walker stopped doing the bar, the marmite crisp. Yeah, because I think marmite have just started making loads of their own stuff, haven't they? Yeah, like yeah, peanut they have, butter yeah. and all sorts. Yeah, mm. oh, marmite peanut butter. I like peanut butter. I like marmite. The two together is ungodly. I, 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 I can live with it. I've, yeah. not tr- I've got to be honest, I've not tried it, and I love both of those elements. It's more like the knickknacks, or whatever it's called. You know, the crisp. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. that sort of yeah. flavour. Yeah. Kind of hate it, but don't mind it. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Gets I better I'd... the drunker you are. I think that's it. The more I eat of it, the more like, my mouth just goes numb to it. I'm like, oh, these are right now. I try to yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's those mixed bowls, you know, the, the, the Bombay mix. Mm. Those yeah. and that, that, I just eat that. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what? You wouldn't believe how horrendously compared to like two handfuls of Bombay mixes, like about the equivalent of like a twelve-inch pizza. Yeah. It's so bad. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, like all the oh, calories and stuff. Oh yeah, oh, it's wow. horrendous. Yeah, I'm yeah, feeling like no idea. Disclosure on now. There's someone in the uh, <laughs> comments will probably go. Can we get back to the normal conversation? Yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah, I do yeah. know that in the conversation we saw with like a mouthful of Bombay. <laughs> <laughs> You know, the pizza leg and life could be worse. <laughs> Isn't that bad? Yeah. Someone in the world it will be watching this eating a pizza. P- pizza. Um, and I just want to applaud that person. Yeah. Yeah. Someone in the world yeah. is out there eating a pizza that's called a Bombay mix. I was going to say that, that's the one, isn't it? Like a diet Bombay mix with the pizza base. Like, there's yeah. something going on there. They're, they're living the dream. <laughs> yeah. A yeah. short dream, but a dream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh dear. Good so word. you have a hobby shop. Right, there we go. Uh, yeah. There we go. Well done. Um, you can cut all that bit if you want. No, 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 no. The, waf- um, the waffles what we're famous for. Yeah. Uh how how did you have an idea like how did that come into being? Uh it wasn't always a plan. So I, I like I, I started the channel um here in when I was living in Nottingham in Grantham. So I was there for about a year, had a, a little unit out there. And um I started it because of like like my passion for the hobby, right? I wanted people to feel comfortable doing yeah. stuff. I wanted to like, I don't know, there's somewhere people can come at like a, like a positive internet space, right? Like I'm not one for doom and gloom. Like, yeah. We have enough of that in life, right? I think. So yeah. It's nice yeah, to yeah, people yeah. go, do you know what? You're nev- I'm never going to be there going, oh, everything's awful, whatever. It's always going to be like, if I don't like something, if I don't think something's good, sure, I'll tell you. But if I don't like something, I won't do something about it just because I don't like it. Mm. Do you know yeah. It can cost you views. It can cost you whatever. But at the end of the day, like, well, I don't want to waste my time my time doing something I hate and mm. only for the like, to spread any I want to spread joy right and mm. like get people into it that's always been my passion I feel like there was a long period there when I was a kid Games Workshop and everything was, was kind of great right? mm. it was a great hobby space like, yeah. like Alan, Jeff um, Paul all those managers back in the 90s were like uh, let's talk about them now right 25 years later yeah they were a good like part of my life and um, then there was like a 10, 15 year period before Warhammer TV I think when the company was obviously going through a, a change from a, mm. a hobby thing to a business and I felt like they t- t- took the brakes off like any hobby stuff like yeah. didn't, it wasn't very community orientated there, oh, no. there was none of that no. it was all like a sale 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 you go into a shop and it's like right buy this you're like oh I don't like it we'll buy it you're like mm. you know, it became kind of that way and yeah. it's, it's swung back again now with, with use of YouTube and whatever and people like yourself right you've been a big person in the community to, to get people into it so it's you know I'll try that. Yeah, yeah. but it already has like, that's like what you've brought to the community and as yeah. even what you guys do it's, it's you know here's, there's some painting get that done chat have a biscuit like it's it's relaxed it's comfortable it's, it's positive yeah. so like that's why I started the channel and then I moved to Ireland um, and I, I needed a studio space so I was actually in a barn I was in like uh, my partner Kira's parents like they had like an outhouse so it, mm. was, it was great like, it looked great lovely wall these nice yeah. lights but it, you literally could put your hand through the wall and <laughs> there's, a hole, there's a hole in the wall it's, it's an old like farm yeah, yeah, pig yeah, shed yeah. or whatever so yeah. it looked great but the yeah. episodes of you in like November with like four coats oh, on <laughs> was a Luke came over set up the studio in November I remember that I remember seeing my breath enough. like ice I've got red nose I'm like okay warm the nose up like, oh, there, there, welcome to the channel and like, oh. as it goes off ears go red the nose goes red ice breath you're like oh Jesus like this is it was, it was too cold so a year later I, um, is this broadsword war game, no, or or is this a scene from the thing? It's, it's, <laughs> I put my hand through the walls to show people. Um, I was actually, I was actually really blown away. I got some good support. I, um, I at the time I was working. I still mm. work now, but I work as a social care worker as well. So I do that twenty four hour stints, ten a.m. to ten a.m. It's kind of a you know quite like done that for a long time. Did that yeah. here. So I've always done that, and, and um, you know I made what I could, but like finding places to rent a studio yeah. was tough. So I, I found a space. It's dead cheap, and I, I use that as a shop now. So I got upstairs. I made into a studio and I thought, well, I didn't have a shop at the time, but I'd give people something to play. There's nowhere to play in Ireland. I feel like I'm waffling now, but I mean, there's no, there's nowhere no, to like play there. About. So like in, in that, 
part of the country, there's 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 not much support for the, the hobby, right? We've got Dublin, which is great, and you've got Cork, but they're three, four hours away from me. So where I am, there's where do people play? Nowhere. But as a teenager, that's or a young kid, that's that's a shame, right? Because it's a great hobby. So I did the channel, and then I ended up stocking uh, after like. Brexit happened. It's hard to post from England to Europe. It's expensive, yeah. Uh, yeah. handling, yeah. whatever. All that was a bit of a mess. So Luke from Geek Gaming, they needed someone to ship some EU products. I said, oh, I'll do it then. I've got a space. And War Games Atlantic, um, Hudson over there, I've got a load of their stuff. So I started shipping and selling their stuff. And then I thought, well, I've got these two now. And then it became more, I couldn't just go in on an evening, do a few and go. It became a little bit more. I was mm. like, oh, a few more orders now. Um, I'm at work. I've got the channel. I haven't really got the time. So I was like, well, I guess now we kind of like go in or don't do it anymore. It, yeah. I mean, it was, it was just, yeah, yeah. jumping point. I said, well, bugger, let's go in. So I got Mantic stuff in, and then I got the Games Workshop rack in, and then sort of grown over there. And like, Kira's been there now nearly two years. She's been working there. She was, she was working in the pharmacy in Boots, so she left that, and she's been there for a couple of years. And um, got that, we got to the point where we needed someone to do stuff. And yeah. Then, yeah. Bugger opened a few days, COVID lockdown closed, finished that, like, do you know what I mean? It was just sort of grown, really. And yeah. It wasn't the initial, the initial plan, but now it's great. We get like families coming the other day. It was like a, it's retail at the end of the day, right? So mm. retail's tough even if it's a hobby it changes your passion into a job yeah but um we, we had some some kids come in with the family they're like what 12 14 and they've got like an eight-year-old and it's kind of reminded me of my brothers and they came in and they were like oh this is amazing we did like a painting day with them how to play stuff and they came back and the dad was like my kids have never gotten on so well thank you so much like we, we love having them <laughs> <laughs> so it all came to that kind of thing and i was yeah. like you know what like that's why i started it that's, yeah that's yeah. why i did the shop the artistic yeah. part of me sure it's, it's a business and it's, it's it's a shop and it needs to support itself but that's why really it's like give people somewhere it's an outlet right for people it was always awkward as a kid growing up i got bullied a lot of school and games which was a bit like shame yeah. shame right yeah. hobby shame yeah. Go, go on the bus but oh my god like turn the you know the hobby used to have the, the eagle turn it inside yeah, so people yeah. don't see that yeah, like, yeah we've all been there right what, what i find really, really weird is the chess club was higher in the tier yeah, than right. what we were <laughs> literally bottom rung right i don't know what was lower like nothing just like did you do warhammer Oh. Well, I told the story. I don't know if I told it. We were just when it was me and Papa. One of my customers um, plays on a football team for gay guys, mm -hmm. and he's a straight guy on it because they have to have you know a bit of diversity on the flip side of it. And one of the guys he plays football with is a servant soldier, and said I had no problems coming out as a homosexual in the army, but I've still not come out as a Warhammer player to anybody else. <laughs> <same way. laughs> it's the worst actually. <laughs> thing. Like, oh no, who knew it I got that twice? Like, <laughs> but like, I did it. I like, like men. Yeah, that's fine. And then there's these two soldiers. What, you mania? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, but, it, but it's that, right? And it's that mentality and that stigma, I think. And like people, you know, not everyone fits into whatever mm. when you're younger. So it's great to have there. We've got a real diverse group. It's lovely having Kira in the shop because it's like, like a, a female-led shop is quite yeah, nice or yeah. woman I don't know what, uh, you know it's lovely having that and um, yeah we have a good diverse group of people it's a nice safe space for people to come in play yeah, TV, yeah. do whatever so it's all that really is, is the, the community building side yeah. do you say you still do social work as well yeah, yeah. Minute, do you get time to sleep I no, <laughs> um, <laughs> never. I, this was something I was going to raise so like just in this conversation I'm like okay there was acting there's you said touring that's music so there's the YouTube there's the shop and there's the social care. So mm -hmm. is that like five jobs? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, I, meant, I meant to have lost jobs, yeah. but I've gained them. Yeah. I mean, but like when, when, before I moved to Ireland, I was, Kira and I were like long distance, right? We, we, I yeah. live in Nottingham, she lived there. It took about a year and a half. So I, I used to fly, it's dead cheap to fly mm. to Knock, like you said, like Stansted or Liverpool, yeah. whatever. You can fly to Knock near me about 20 minutes away, 10, 15 quid. I think I got a 16 euro return once yeah. from the airport. And you can do that from Stansted, Liverpool, Manchester. If you want to come to visit the shop, you can um, fly over. For, it literally costs a tenner. Like, yeah, yeah. Nothing. It's cheaper than Derby to Nottingham, just to it let you really know. It really is. <laughs> yeah. Cheaper sleeper to here. Like, I tell you what, compared to sometimes the car parking in Nottingham, it's probably cheaper to come and buy from your shop. It, 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 <laughs> it, 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 it really is. Like, I'm telling you. Like, you know. Um, yeah. It, it's dead cheap. So. Um, yeah. I, it, did that. it makes no sense. Like, it, it, it's it. crazy. I don't know how Ryanair do a flight for a tenner. Yeah. Uh, like, how does that, how does that work? Hmm. I don't know. I'm yeah. glad they do. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's great. Yeah. And like, you know, people yeah. moan about it. I'm sure it's fine now, whatever, but you're sitting on it for 40 minutes. And yeah. you're like, oh, I'm in Ireland now. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. Here, then. yeah. Um, so it's brilliant, really. Uh, and But I was doing a lot of travelling. So back before we moved, I guess, like, lockdown kind of closed off. I did a lot of, like, singing. I used to do um, 
Like wedding singer singing. as well, singer as well. Singing, yeah, it's <laughs> the wedding singing. What I was doing for lots of time. I was oh, wedding yeah. care, wedding singing. Had the channel before I t- moved around and had the mm. shop. But I used to go to like weddings and do like um, like singing surprise. The, the company's called. Oh, and, um, were you a singing waiter? Yeah, so you used to go. You know, before, you have to do a bit, pretend to pour a few drinks and that, right? And then um, I hate and, singing waiters. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like, yeah, it's understandable. It always yeah. suppose you do a like, wedding stuff on your side, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Nothing gets in the way more than. Uh, no, no. It's, well, I'll tell you what. No, I don't. I don't hate singing waiters, but. Um, it's sometimes it's like you do a really really busy day and you're like oh i get to sit down nope. and the worst one is when uh because if the bride or the groom book it mm-hmm. usually they tell me yeah um but it's like when a family member oh, so books the it, books it. And, and i go oh i can't wait to have five minutes and then you hear the clatter of cutlery yeah. <laughs> uh, and go oh no someone's fallen over <laughs> yeah and That's then the one, yeah and then the singing starts but some of them are brilliant I yeah, have to say, yeah. my mate uh, Aston, we've we've sung together for years. We we did bands back in the whatever the, when I was like fifteen. Yeah, um, he's amazing. So we did a lot with him with, with his company, and um, yeah, that's like great fun. But that a lot of driving, right? A lot of travelling. Yeah, to bloody Portsmouth. Yeah. Well, you know, it's like yeah. weddings. I go to Portsmouth for five hours. It takes you nine hours to get there. Four hours to get back. Next place. I ran pubs as well at the same time for up in Leeds and Matlock area. Mm. Busy time. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. now I meant to have gone right. I did two years of grinding. Let's get back to Ireland and. Yeah, no, it's sure. not happened. All I've done is put more on. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's like my, my prime editing filming time is like ten a.m. to like so ten p.m. to like three a.m. It's like right, and it's up at seven. Work for ten, and that's insane. It's a bit mad. Like um, you need one of them. You know, in two thousand AD, the, the the judges have a, a sleep machine where they have like mm. thirty minutes, and it gives them like eight hours. Oh, that's amazing! What you need. That's what you yeah, need. Yeah, it's terrible. I'm waking up and fresh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a lot, right? But especially, but like. It's like a hobby is quite all encompassing. So you yeah, get, with the shop you kind of get it on all fronts, right? I, I meet like new people, uh, or I see like YouTube stuff, or you get shop things and all the kind of people and the, the different mixes. It's, it's, it's a lot all the time. So yeah, social media is always beeping up like what like bloody five Instagram pages, whatever. It's all and then you know we've seen you at Salute, so you're also doing yeah. shows. Yeah, man, Salute. And, and yeah, that. That so you got you, mm. so you got shows to get in and all that as well. God, I don't even manage it, man. Yeah, I know it's a lot, right? But hopefully this year maybe we get to the point where I can can start to. Chill. He's off on some bits, right? Like yeah. We've done the, it's a couple. We're two and a half years in as the shop now. Four and a half years in as the channel. Kira's streaming. Uh, hopefully, we can we can find a bit yeah. of time. Maybe. Yeah. Um, so you're I, doing great. Sneak I did. Away. I did see um, like one of Kira's streams, and she was like, "Oh, I've I've, I've got to be quiet or a bit quieter because because uh, Ollie's recording the VO for for a new video." That's right. And then and then like an hour later, it was on YouTube, and I was like, "Wow, he's grinding." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 Sunday, Sunday like 3 p.m. is like my release time. It's like you know it's 2:59. I'm going. Oh, uh, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Upload. Go on. Yeah. Like, no. Like um, yeah, yeah. But yeah. It's 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 good, but you know it's grindy, right? Like YouTube's grindy, isn't it? Yeah. Um, it's lovely, but it, you know. It's it's a it's weird working. fickle beast as well. It is, yeah. It goes yeah. from hobby to job very quickly. It, it does, yeah. People often ask me that, like, you know, do you still enjoy the hobby? And I think my what, with the shop, what I like has changed now. Like, it's, it's not. I don't really hobby myself. Like a video, I've got like how many boxes have I got? Well, I've done three sharp models and the rest of the box is there. Yeah. I've done yeah. three squats, the rest of the box is there, right? And I never really finish anything. But now I get genuine enjoyment out of like other people coming in new to it and they're in there. You know, I'm like hard selling, I don't wouldn't sell something I didn't want or anything like that. It's nice to be able to do that and introduce back what I had as a kid. Yeah. That's why I want to yeah, do so it. Like, that's that's really cool. the new nice feels, you know. Yeah, you when you're talking about retail, that's when it changed for me because I was in retail at the time when they moved from like the, the chilled out hobby conversations to the hard sell. Yeah. And that's like when myself and Duncan were just like, nah, it's not for us. Yeah, yeah. You know, so Buy these miniatures. Yeah. Like and, it, and it's like you had these KPIs that were felt quite unreasonable at times. And, you know, you had to like hit so many white dwarf subs and sell so many or do so many intros which then led to so many core games if you didn't do this amount of intros you won't get this amount of core games but you've done loads of intros but you've not done this enough core games your intros must be rubbish right we need to have a conversation about your intros you're like oh my god life's too flumming short for this I'm yeah. sick of it. I'm playing intros for people that want to come and have some fun I'm not and yes it's a business you've got to make money but at the same time it's like it, it became soulless. Mm. And that was the... Uh, it's hard, tiring doing intros too. Oh, right? yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I think I did nine in one day at one of our things. I was like, ah, but by the end of it... The, the thing people would forget is like, you could see numbers. I'd like run a load of intros on a Saturday and I'm still running intros. So the person that's gone to get the core game has gone to another staff member who now records that as their... Oh, right. oh, yeah. Yeah. and they right. about that kind of stuff so you're just like that's my core game like yeah well I'm putting it through so it's mine it's like how many intros have you done this week two and yeah. you've sold 45 core games yeah you've done a good job yeah it must yeah. be two really good intros yeah, mm. yeah. 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 <laughs> I didn't think about that but I don't have that pressure on me right? yeah. obviously the, the pressure is, is financial right? if yeah. I have a bad week I you know bad pre-order even like we're so reliant really as shops on 
But it's like, you know, magic and cards and stuff is great. That's a good, like, sell through. Yeah, but yeah. Games Workshop pre orders, man, is like it's Saturday bread and, bread and butter. Yeah. You know, if it's an a- Age of Sigma one or some books, like, I love Age of Sigma, but it just doesn't sell as well. It's not Space Marines, basically. You're, you're going, oh, God, it's beans this week. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it could be that way, you know? It's so, like, <laughs> hand to mouth. Like, yeah, like, oh, yeah. great. And you go, yay, Leviathan's out. Awesome. Yeah. That'd be a good pre order. And then you go, oh, next week, it's three, three books and a, a dwarf model. And, like, I never sold a dwarf. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's. Yeah. So it's, 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 it's very hit and miss, and YouTube's kind of the same, isn't it? Mm. But, um, but, uh, but I do enjoy it, and I, I do still, you know, I do still enjoy it. I do still have a passion. Anything you do different for you to look back? Hmm. Um, Less singing at weddings. <laughs> yes, <laughs> like, no, no, don't annoy him with, with wedding singing. Um, yeah, but, but, you're but, dead to me. But like, that's always been like my, my true passion is like singing and music and that mm. kind of stuff. So I enjoyed yeah. like, the YouTube side. Like, I couldn't get a job as an actor, so I'll make my own one. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, um, but like, you know, yeah, it's, it's nice. It's all kind of interchangeable, right? And I can step away and in and out when I want. There's a bit more pressure now with, with, with the financial stuff. But, you know, with YouTube, ultimately, if I don't want to do it for a week, you don't have to. I don't have to, right? Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's the thing, being only me. Whereas at least a collective you've got each other to, to, to talk to but like I was yeah. saying before a little, little bit isolated in Ireland because there's not many other Irish creators that's certainly not my side there's yeah. there's um, like Marco for his only he's over I think in I think he's in yeah. Dublin love Marco we love Marco yeah yeah he's he's over there but I don't I know um, still a bit of a trek yeah but mm. there you go I, I, I spoke a little bit do you know what I mean so I, 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 I could be lovely to get involved with a few more people so it's nice to come over here and like, it helps you with the hype right like, yeah, when you feel a bit yeah. down you chat to people like, oh, right, I love bloody Let's get back home. I can't wait to come and do videos now. Do you know yeah, I mean? I've been yeah. away for a few days and like itching to yeah. to do some projects. So it's so it's lovely for that. And I suppose having a few of you to chat to as well keeps you yeah keeps you hyped, doesn't it? Yeah, paint yeah. Paint more it does. toys, more toys, right? Yeah, yeah. Paint more toys. Yeah, paint more toys. You had a question, didn't you, Jeff? Hey, you, did I? Oh, I don't know. It's gone now. Senior <laughs> moments. No, no, I'm, I'm all good. It'll come back to me. Come I've got one, but I've got one, but I'll, I'll I'll go in with the question when we've got questions. Ooh, yeah. So we, we well, yeah, we asked uh, as we Ooh. do. We ask our Patreon supporters uh, some questions, and I always have to preface this by saying they're as silly as we are. Of course. Um, <laughs> you just point up the words. So um, it, yeah, there's just some of them are serious questions. Some of them are just hey, I've seen your stuff, thank you. And then uh, some of them are like, what's your favourite cheese? That's all right. Um, well, that so will probably you, come up. So we'll do that now. What is your favourite cheese? Well, I, don't I don't know if anyone's asked that. I don't know. It's, it's Wednesday dough with cranberry. Oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I do yeah. like that. I, yeah, I've got good memories of that. That's a nice one. I do, I'm a cheese man, mm. so I like any cheeses really. Yeah, that's the problem I have is I don't realise I like any cheese till everybody gives their answer and I go, "Oh, that's good." Yeah. Then, but I've said that every week. Yeah. <laughs> Blue cheese, great. Cheddar, yeah. great. Yeah, cheese, all cheese. Yeah. cheese yeah. yeah. If if somebody went, "Oh, just a, just a mature cheddar," I'd be like, mm. "Like yeah. it's a good staple," but I don't know yeah. if it would be my favourite. Mm. It, you know, it's the sauces that get pesto on there. That with pesto, cracker with you know, with a bit of pesto on, or like the chutneys and stuff. Well, oh, well yeah. this is yeah. it. It's yeah, it's, it's a good, it's a building block. Yeah, it's but, a base, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but on its on its own, does it shine without anything else? Mm. Mm. I get um one of my customers um who I will name because he has the greatest name ever. He's he's Nottingham born and bred, but his father's Italian, and his name is Sergio Cantalamessa. Isn't that just a beautiful name? Sounds like a sports car. It's just just a beautiful name. Does he rock up and be like, here's a bacon cob? (laughs) (laughs) He goes to Italy and whenever whenever he comes back, he just brings me a massive block of Italian parmesan. And he always says, put it in the free best way in the freezer. And then he says, when you put it on a salad, just use a potato peeler on it. And it's like, you know, you're going, oh, that salad probably needs about six. Oh, I, and then it probably needs six. I, I, you probably need six because <laughs> I've had about 12 slices yeah. of the time before the salad's got a <laughs> lovely so, so Parmesan in a packet, and it's a bit, uh, but you know, yeah. fresh. Oh, oh wow. it's amazing. Yeah, yeah, Poc- yeah. Pocket Parmesan. Yeah. Need that. Uh, lovely. So uh, our first question says, have you played Famous by Our Swords? It's an Irish skirmish game, which is like Irish, Irish mythology plus... Byzantine Empire plus demons. Wow. <laughs> wow. There's I mean, a combination. That, that is that's very different. different. <laughs> I've got a Roman legionary stabbing Medusa with a demon. I uh, could do that. Yeah, no, I've n- never heard of that one. What's so, it called again? Uh, famous by Our Swords. It's a good name as well. Mm. I th- I, Almost sounds like a band, al- a band as well, or the name of an album, doesn't it? Mm. I'll take that for a band name. Now. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I've not yeah. heard that. No, it sounds good, though. Always happy to, to get in your know, stuff in yeah. again. Yeah. Um, uh, War Daddy Miniatures asks, hardest thing about running a brick and mortar hobby store? Hmm. I, I, um, 
I think like obviously that you end up with more overheads, so there's more pressure to yeah. do more business. It's not like you know I can just what if I have a bad week I'm just ship it from the bedroom and it doesn't matter like yeah. there's, there's like costs there's overheads there's insurance there's whatever there's staff to pay mm, stuff like yeah. that so I think there's a lot of pressure um, as the, sort of the sole provider as well for, for the with, with Kira working there now there's a, a lot of pressure that way um, no it's just a general I think just running a business right? yeah. like if you, any yeah. business I, I think is, is, is equal problems probably yeah. Um, yeah and then he also asks as a, as a secondary follow up question the cheeky little rascal uh, what's your favourite old hammer miniature of all time? Ooh. Hmm. I don't know. Where are you guys on that? What's my favourite? Mine's definitely something dwarf related because that was my first. Is that yeah? Dwarf hammer, I think. Oh, yeah. Little, little, little metal, metal, metal dwarf hammer. Yeah, little metal dwarf hammers. You get like four in a blister pack. That was I, my first one I ever had. So. I don't know enough about old, just dwarf old hammer hammers, to just, have a favourite. Yeah. I, I, never, I never painted one. I always loved. I know it's like quite a few people do, but I like, you know the Green Knight. Oh yeah! Oh, you've you've talked me answer. What have I? Have I? <laughs> yeah. See, everyone likes it though. Who didn't like that model? Yeah, it's an amazing it's model. It's so good. I never painted one though. So I thought the Green Knight was the first model that uh, Alan sculpted. Not Alan. Michael sculpted after had his arm blown off. Mm -hmm. uh, someone corrected me in the comments, and I'm not sure if it's entirely true, but there's a Repants de Leonis, uh, which is like the Joan of Arc. Mm -hmm. That apparently was the first one he did. Oh, what was, what was that thing? I because I, obviously my my fantasy knowledge is sketchy. The thing that was sort of looked like he was sort of like a bit like Pan, but then had like big antlers. That uh, one. That's Orion. Orion. Yeah, which is a beautiful yeah. miniature. He was Gary well. Holly, did him. One of his excellent. Favorites. Yeah. I, I just picked up oh, yeah, the, the old Nagash. You know, oh, yeah. I got a new. I thought I'm going to yeah. do that because I, I never. I used to play Undead. I had all the vampire counts. I, there was a vampire count model actually. It was one of the. Was like the red count or something it was a bit like the Bretonian model he was awesome oh, do you know yes, what I mean Red Duke like, Red Duke yeah he's on a horse isn't that's he? it yeah, he yeah, was yeah. cool yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I never did the Archeon. Archeon was it Archeon yeah no he's the chaos dude yeah I know no, yeah, I meant to say yeah model. that was a lovely yeah. Yeah, that yeah. was a lovely miniature and there's always that one I was, uh, they never redid him and I never got hold of him it was called Arbol the Undefeated he did get defeated a lot <laughs> yeah. From what I understand, ironic traits, yeah. 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 traits description. Yeah. Like all the useless. White yeah. Dwarf, he got defeated a lot, so he needs to change his name. taking that down to Citizens Advice Bureau. This minister's been called. Sometimes. Which one was that? I remember that. He w was riding a, it looked like a big um, flesh hound. And he was, it was basically a spiky chaos warrior, but oh, he was right. of the same era as um, when they did Archon and uh, some of the metal demon princes and stuff. Arbo the Undefeated. Oh. Uh, Spend's painting. Oh yeah, um, a good lad. Yeah, the the uh, Mr. Streaking guy himself. I didn't know he was in the Patreon. That's mm, awesome. Yeah, recent. Hi, Spend's. Um, love your work. Uh, what advice would you have for anyone struggling to balance content creation with work and other life commitments? Mm, I think something I don't do, but should do more. Is you do need to make a bit of time for yourself. Right. Mm. I've, I've started for me. Like, if if you get too much into it, like, I, not that I'm a mad like fitness buff, but like certainly health. Mm. It's like deteriorated, right? It's a very static mm. job, isn't it? Editing, mm. painting, you're not moving. Yeah, yeah. I used to move and dance and sing about and whatever. Yeah. I don't do that as much now. So I'm trying to like get back to the gym, trying to chop a few pounds. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, like I think, And that's yeah. a nice space away. I, yeah, I, I, yeah, I do think yeah. make a bit of time for yourself away from it because with the shop and everything, it's, it's there all the time. You, know, you check an email. Like, you shouldn't check the email at 1am or a message comes through or something. So like taking a bit of time away. And I, I would say certainly, you know, the, 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 the kids getting older, like don't, don't, waste those yeah i mean don't waste it won't come back right yeah exactly so yeah. i think yeah. that's yeah. really important that's yeah. not a horrible i say horrible it's like a sort of a percentage like when your child is like one to 12 that's like 80 percent of the time you're spent with them mm. after that it gets and, and then less and less and yeah, less. yeah. I, I think there was some essentially some graphs that were yeah the average time you spend with family with friends with partners with yeah. children and this that and the other it was quite interesting yeah, they were like, oh, doing the rounds. So, and, and you know my i've got a 15 year old boy if he you know I only see him if he needs feeding. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah that's it, right? They get that age where they don't want to torture, which is great. Like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like <laughs> <for> everybody. <laughs> yeah. yeah, my eldest just communicates in a series of grunts, clicks, and whistles. Really, yeah. you know, he sends you a message, a... get me a pizza. Is yeah, he Jimmy Nelson? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it does, you don't have any real, you don't have any real conversation with him. Normally, yeah. you say something, he rolls his eyes, mumbles, and walks off, and that's generally how it goes, really. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I think if you're content creating for like for, for fun, um, don't put too much pressure on yourself. A lot of people say I must do one a week, got to do this, and it's self-imposed deadlines. Yeah, you yeah. know, like I would try and have a video out on a Sunday afternoon, but life happens, and if I go, oh, it's not happening. Don't worry about it. I used to be like, oh no, I'm gonna get this done in step, 24 hours, 40 hours editing, yeah. film in, get it done. It's just not worth it. I mean, yeah. not worth it. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got to yeah. enjoy it. Put your mind first. 
Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. No, very good. Uh, what's a moment since you started your channel and store that's a point of pride for you? Hmm. I think for me, the main reason was like helping people, right? Mm. So like, like the, the Airbrush video, as I mentioned yeah. earlier, like a lot of people I think found that useful. So they're like, oh, thanks so much. It's really helped me go over my yeah. fear of this. And that's the main thing I want to do is like break down any of those things. Well, I did like the streak and grind with the and it's popular, but like people haven't heard of it or like oils or anything. Yeah, anything yeah. that's like, just just do it. Yeah. It's, it's not scary. It's not bad. Yeah. You know, like just that. And also most importantly, it's not cheating. It's not cheating, everyone, because Airbus cheating, right? What are you talking about? It's a, yeah. it's a tool that it's saves my another, time. It's just yeah. another tool for you. Weird, isn't it? Like, I value yeah. nothing more than my time. It's yeah. just another tool in your toolbox, isn't yeah. it? You know? and yeah, and it's yeah. great. Yeah, so. but you, you, there are some purists out there that think it has to be base coat, layer, layer, edge highlight. And you no know, washing, no sort of And weird there's probably a purist out there that also thinks what they're doing is cheating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. No. yeah, yeah. If you're not actually mixing you're never your own... Gonna please everybody. If you're not mixing yeah. your own walled from literally grounds <laughs> yeah. of air. Yeah. Yeah. You're cheating. Yeah. You know, so it's yeah. really yeah. 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 weird. and grind it into dust. That's the basing material. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I use like the basing material stuff and it's like people are like, oh, just go get the rocks and do that and filter it out and use bark and cook it and oil it. And I'm like, okay. Like, you, you, you've you got that I time. I literally cool. can't be bothered. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you've got that time. Like, uh, sure, I know it's like two quid or whatever, but like... My whole 40k army has been sculpted out of pebbles. You yeah. Know what I mean? <laughs> Where does it end? Do you know what I mean? Do, you know I mean? do that. Do, right. right. do whatever you like. I mean, yeah. that, you know I mean? that would be a hilarious video. I would love to see that. that. Yeah, yeah. 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 it's funny. Yeah. It's loads of pebbles together. You know, oh, I think we've talked about it before, like very briefly. There's, there's a YouTube channel... Um, where he uses really he's like a guy in a rainforest somewhere mm. and i think there's a few of them now and they're completely silent and he makes these like mud huts and he's like i'm gonna make a kiln and and he like makes all these bricks and all these structures and everything like that it'd be so funny to do like a a riff on that video style but just like <laughs> make a space marine out of rocks yeah. <laughs> yeah. rock marines right? yeah. yeah but i always think that just do what you like do whatever you bloody like, yeah you exactly. tells me, no one tells me what to no, do right? at yeah. the end of them they look as good as you want them to look then yeah it's don't worry about it if you like just normal oil whack it over spray can I use spray cans all the time now like, yeah. I didn't used to I went off them for ages yeah, yeah. I was like oh, but airbrush airbrush that base it's way better it takes yeah. me hours yeah. give me a can of black spray red spray for an angle Lovely. Yeah, and as we were yeah. talking about last time uh, Chaos Black is just such a good spray I, I love Chaos Black yeah, I know. We do, not, we've yeah. not had anyone talk about it on the channel who doesn't yeah it's what like I didn't. I said I went off it. I came back to spray cans. It was just like chaos black, white zenithal. I just dread the day when they go. But everyone's buying chaos black. They love it. Let's change it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Leave it. Leave it. Then you're like, hello, Colour Forge. <laughs> yeah. I've been yeah. there. I know how it works. Sometimes I'm like, this is going successful. We should change it. What? Well, well, um, <laughs> leave it alone. Somebody like I've been uh, like a project I'm doing at the minute is like a charity thing, which and essentially it's like a imperial fist sort of style but space ducks they're called uh and i've been doing the pink prime mm. with a white xenathon i've been using army paint and pixie pink and someone was like oh that was only a limited run like they're not doing many of them and i was like amazon oh it's still there yeah. two <laughs> <laughs> just any pink right i've not tried yeah. that yet i love, yeah. love imperial fist keep me in stride the pink or the red with the white right yeah it's like and again you're talking about trying new things that was something like for me um I heard about it. I was like, "That's weird." And then mm. we gave it a go, and I was like, "That's cool." Yeah, because you try it, you give it a go, you give it its yeah. due, and then you suddenly find out the benefits of it. Yeah. So, yeah, it's yeah, good. yeah. I thoroughly enjoy it, and I am also throwing everything at those miniatures, like streaking grime, I'm oils, lovely. and this, that, can and the I pass, other. Can I pass so one over? To yeah, let's see, see these beasts and weathering Space and duck. this, that, and Space the other. Um, and I'm having a great, great time. Yeah, I've oh, got the, great as well. I've got the lieutenant on the on a. On oh, I'll a tell you what, thing Pat, there, Pat, you doing can. really well. You're quacking on with them. Hey! <laughs> Is that, oh, great, is that dad jokes, it's allowed, it's allowed. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Is that a great yeah. night helmet? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so oh, that's the, really good. The nice. saddest thing for me is Pat, this is like Pat's best army he's done so far and he's got to give it away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I, I'm, I'm painting it for a, for a charity giveaway. In all yeah, seriousness, yeah. I'll, Pat, st I'll stick the link in the description. In all seriousness, Pat, for a minute. That's awesome. That's you look amazing. Truly, you do, yeah. That, yeah. Honestly, man, I, need, I need to weather that give, one. Give me a guide, that's man. Must I, be, do that. I, love I think he's yeah. going to do a guide. There will be a video of it eventually. Guide on that, yeah. That's, that's yeah. what. Do you know? Honestly, man. Honestly, gobsmacked. That's really, really good. They're really yeah. good, aren't they? These. Yeah, man. Uh, yellow is like yellow's always been a troublesome paint for people, right? But now we yeah, contrast yeah. yellows and stuff. Like, yeah. So, so that is, is is a pink, pink primer, white xenothal, and then imperial fish yellow. 
Yeah, um, that's just the way, isn't it? And now? then it's got some streaking grime, some oils, and this, that, and the other. But that it's was more just me, good. like, faffing about. Is that yeah. all the blend, like, you know, like, the, the colour blend? That's just from the Zenithal? Yes, yeah. So that backpack, I think, is probably, like, where it looks probably the most obvious. Yeah, backpack, because you can wipe the top yeah. of it. Do you know what I mean? They're, they're, yeah. That's really nice, man. Yeah, so that's lovely. Really good. I'm enjoying that. But yeah, I'll stick the link in the description of, of, of yeah, these will be raffled off in October, I think. Oh, yeah. Wow. Um... There we go. Uh, so someone asked, which we I guess we kind of covered all this a little bit. I would tell funny now if I won them. <laughs> yeah, I would win. Yeah. I'd be livid. <laughs> They're beating with them as well. Yeah. Burn yeah. them. Just put them in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like, just like, just take a blowtorch. Win them and then sell them. Win them yeah. and then sell them. Whilst, whilst, whilst staring at them as well, just slowly melt them right here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As yeah. you just slowly poured them into a big bath full of bio no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like it's all for charity it's big, fine yeah. Yeah. Cackling. yeah no they are they're awesome man they look real well done oh Seriously. I did um, I, need, I need to segue ever so slightly um, because I got a message from uh, uh, Darren Latham on Instagram oh, oh yeah I've heard of him um, and he said um, no mention of the 90s marine challenge on the show sad face broken heart emoji oh no oh, he's not you... asked me <laughs> so, <laughs> do you know what though hang on Mr Latham as much as we love you but hang on how many how many followers has he got on Instagram yeah, it, it's everywhere yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Um, it's amazing so so yeah um, it's just the, the, I'm at, he's taken my family hostage and I'm, um, <laughs> I'm reading these words oh, Darren Latham take mine. Uh, is running a 90s marine challenge and you can paint one and post it on the 2nd of September and there's nice. awards and stuff lovely um, please let my family go Darren. <laughs> um, uh, wonderful. Right, so uh, what was the drive to do it all? E.g. YouTube, Hobby Shop, and how, uh, assuming there was convincing, uh, how did you convince your wonderful partner to join you on this adventure? So she um, she got into the painting side. That's a question I get a lot, actually. She's like, how do you get your partner or whatever into the hobby? Right? Yeah. It seems to be like, it's, it's a question a lot of people have. I guess they want their friends, or you know, you want to do it. Two yeah. time share together, right? Yeah. And I think a lot of people ask that question. I've never really like, like I don't know, it's, it's it's very subjective, right? Depending on the personality. But Kira really loved to begin with, like she likes fantasy stuff, right? So I never yeah. said, Oh, there's a space marine. No, no. I said, What do you like? War cry. All right, okay, you like those box? Untamed Beast. That's why we did that. Yeah. Untamed Beast. Cool. And she said, I like painting, I don't want to play. I said, Okay, paint away, do what you like. And then she did, for the first year, she would just buy random stuff. There's no word about an army. No, yeah, you're not collecting yeah. at this point. Enjoy it. So you get that. And I I I like you know, would do my best to help that. She didn't like assembling, so I'll assemble them for her. She just paint them. Well, make it as easy as possible. Yeah. For her to enjoy it, right? And, and to, now she does it herself. But make it as easy as possible. Like, and we we tried a game of Warcraft because I think it is probably the easiest of games to get into. Yeah. So we did the very first. Actually, like, never done dice games, and it's funny how much assumed knowledge you think some you have. So I said to her, "Oh, you need to roll a four plus." She's like, "Four plus what?" Yeah. It's yeah, like yeah, yeah. four plus, like yeah. four, five, or six. What do you mean? I was like, do you know what I mean? So yeah. Even something like that, the terminology we have, uh, or even as games workshop, you know, when you got that painted guide. So I don't know what any of this is. Like yeah. it's all if you've never done it, yeah. you have no idea. Um it's it's tough, isn't it? Yeah. Because you re you just so much assumed knowledge for because you've been doing it for that long. Yeah, like you, a customer customer's little boy sees because I paint in the shop. Mm -hmm. Sorry to hijack what you're saying. No. But a customer's little boy paint uh, comes into the shop and I paint in my shop and he's really got into it and then his dad was like, I don't want to get all of that. And I went, Look, you can get this thing called Kill Team, ten aside. And then he come in and he went, I've got it all. He said, but it's all in bits. And I went, yeah, it will be. And he went, he said, so I just push them. And I'm like, no, no, you don't push them off with your fingers. Yeah, yeah. You need yeah, clippers. Yeah, yeah. He said, I need what? And then I'm going, these, these things. And you realise, you think, there's just so much knowledge. And, you know, I think someone put, put the nail on the head with about how much you, you know, because you file and you varnish and all these things. And someone said, we don't realise it, but pretty much everybody who has who, who has been model painting and building for quite a while would make really really good nail technicians. Mm. Yeah. We we I was um, wandering through town uh, with with my girlfriend and and her mum's been been with us this weekend and and I walked past a nail shop and I was like how funny would it be if we just did a video and it started off with the three of us and it's like, hello, we're nerds and we like painting and we're <laughs> going to see if our skills transfer to this and and like try nail painting. Do I you know think what? that would be amazing. I think it'd be good. Do you, know, do you know what, in all seriousness? I have a mate with a nail bar. Really? There you yeah. go. Seriously, son, yeah. yeah, friend of yeah. mine, he used to be in the shop facing my shop. Yes. He's got a nail bar. Yeah. Get in there. 
Oh yeah, yeah cool. Yeah, that's oh, good. we have get, to do that. Nice, yeah, nice, I think that would I be don't brilliant. Think convince my wife to have her nails done by me, but anyway. <laughs> no. Oh, we do each other's nails. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what it is. You, you can, can have your nails done, but they all have to have a skull on them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do it. I'm, oh yeah. I'll, 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 I'll have a word with Sonny. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's amazing. A brilliant, brilliant idea. Yeah. Right? But it does transfer, doesn't it? Like, yeah. It's art brushes, whatever. Some of the best paints I know are tattoo artists. Yeah. Yeah. And they're like just really good. They, I've never painted before. Paint. I'm like, fuck you. Like that's so good. But they would be right. Yeah. So, so, yeah. Yeah. Curious to do makeup. So she's quite good at. She understands like contrast and contours and mm. stuff. So, well, yeah. I, yeah. I like have conversations with a lot of makeup artists at, at weddings and stuff like that. And and I remember one. Um, yeah, like the mother of the bride sat down and the artist was like, okay, so uh, like, what clothes are you wearing? And she was like, oh, my dress is green. And she was like, right, okay, well, we don't really want to go with silver because that kind of reads as blue. And then this is this. I was like, yeah. oh my God. And then the, yeah. then the makeup artist proceeded to dry brush the mother's face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, have you heard of Artis Opus? Um, <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't texture palette thing. Yeah. 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 The moist uh, tissue or whatever yeah. you need these yeah. days. That's yeah. it, yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's, it, there's a lot of crossover, I think, with, I with think makeup so. and, and yeah, miniature yeah. painting, it's, definitely. Well, their boxes are great for tr- uh, putting... Yeah, as you've shown. Well, they make the brushes right, aren't they? Like yeah. dry brush. Yeah, yeah. great. Yeah. Yeah. brushes now. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah. There we go. Uh, s- slight change in direction. Favourite place to go on holiday? Oh, like, you know, that's new. That is new. That's a good... Yeah, it's a good one. Mm. It's not something I could go all the time. I, I, I did a bit of, bit of, bit of travelling over the years. I, I say, like, it's one place that no one ever goes, which I had to thought was really cool because it was dead cheap and it was really nice, was um, Andorra, right? So mm. in between Spain and France, like a tiny bit in the Pyrenees, tiny, only has like two towns. Mm. It's yeah. like a ski place. I don't ski. But I went there mm. off, off season over. It's like a tax haven or whatever. Like, oh, well, right. Like, okay. Everything's like dead cheap. You get really nice food, drinks. Went around on little snowmobiles for like a tenner. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, something. cool. That was so good. A cheap man's moniker. Cheap man's, yeah, you go to Barcelona and you get a bus up for like a tenner and you go from there. Amazing. So, like, Andorra or then like the, the dream place is New Zealand, right? I went around there. That's, mm. like, yeah. New Zealand, I've never that been that far away. Mate, it's yeah. a long way, right? I mean, Wales is like a poor man's New Zealand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. some mountains stand yeah. around a bit. Mountains come down. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll just go there, right? Um, yeah, go to Wales, but yeah, man. Andor, no one I ever missed that. What did you say, though? Uh, he's like, mountains come down. I want to see mountains. Somewhere to finish my book. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Yeah. Yeah. But like, no one ever believes me, man. Andor, just go there. Yeah, trust me. Sounds cool. You're like, fantastic. Great. Yeah. Speaking of going on holiday, how are you for time? Um, I'm all right. If I'm sort of, we're half past one. If I'm out of here, say two o'clock, I think yeah. that'd be good. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I think no, we didn't see all the patrons. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which, game, which game brand other than Warhammer would you like to create more content about, but the YouTube, YouTube algorithm holds you back? Hmm. I haven't heard I'd of that. I'd like one. to do more like historical content like mm. vikings and stuff oh yeah love all that right love vikings yeah. and bits and bobs maybe like some board game things as well crossover skyrim fallout any of that kind of stuff yeah, there's a lot of good stuff that. now yeah. i mean skyrim fallout from modifius have some really nice yeah kits and stuff i just got into that I, like this that's cool if you like the games you, you you're fine yeah it's like oh it's that character from that game sneaky really bowman like. or whatever yeah, yeah. yeah any of that any of those things <laughs> like, like vikings and stuff my like romans historical i love that mm. love all yeah. that um, absolutely what about you what would you guys what would you? Uh, I'm a fan of Star Wars but I've, anything I mean historicals as well we're not really touched much on we, we do have a plan to do every Sean Bean in every film okay. I'll, so. I'll, I'll do a Sean Bean impression for you <laughs> oh that's even better get me in them yeah, yeah, yeah Sean yeah. Bean gotta love the Sean Beans well, we're gonna open enough it. we'll have to talk about him that much it'll got back to him when he comes on <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, yeah and then at the end of the episode we kill him because yeah. obviously it's what he would want yes <laughs> Call him a bastard and kill him, right? Yeah, yeah. Little bastard. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to anyone from Yorkshire. Yeah. No, that's how they sound. I've been there. Yeah. It's fine. Because <laughs> I, I think I'd love to do... Um, yeah, what is it like? Like hot ones, where it's like, hey, we're we're having a conversation, but we're eating really hot oh, food, hot wings, yeah, and yeah. that's fun. Yeah. Um, and doing like, right, we're going to teach someone how to paint a space marine that's never painted it before, and then you have a conversation with them. I think that could be and, cool. And it's Sean Bean. And then, it, and then, yeah, yeah the dream would, would be, be Sean Bean. Bean. Yeah. Sean Bean painting his first space marine. I think yeah. if Sean Bean, we should Sean Bean would be good, wouldn't it? Lager Sean Bean painting space marine is nice. Uh, it's got a ring. Just have lager and chips, and just like you can have a lot, a couple of lagers, as many as he wants, some chips, and we just sit there and paint. Yeah, yeah, because he it's an open invite there, isn't it? Yeah, he likes his yeah. chips. Oh, he yeah, likes yeah, his yeah. Audience. I think, we, yeah, the, like the format, I think we, we should definitely film like a pilot for it. I think that'd be great. <laughs> yeah, um, you can do it. And then send it to Sean Bean's team. <laughs> um, <laughs> 
<laughs> or like slowly trying, you know, if you hope if you like start off with people, because you'd have to do it with people outside of the hobby, wouldn't you? Mm. So maybe like some other YouTubers or something yeah. like that. Mm. If you get to 100,000, it might be like, hey, we could introduce potentially 100,000 people to your channel. Yeah. And then, yeah. Uh, the power. Yeah. The power. Yeah. <laughs> the clout. Um, oh, I said that the other day. What was it? I think it was uh, Mikey from Hellstone Wargaming. We were trying to come up with a collective noun for a group of YouTubers. So, like, you see uh, you know, yeah, yeah, a murder yeah. of crows and this, that, and the other. And it was a, a clout of influencers. That sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought that was quite funny. Um, so, we've got a few acting questions here. Right. Um, that says, this one, Hi, Ollie. How did you find the acting world? Yeah, I mean, it was, it was, it was good. It was a few years ago now. I, I, did, I studied when I was, like, till about 20. And then I had a good run. I'd say around, like, 2006 to 2012 was probably, like, peak goes, got into some good, good auditions, nearly made it into Hollyoaks as a, oh, as a character. Oh, I was going to say, did you make it into the Bill or Coronation no, Street? That's I, usually I, where I most people go. I did four or five auditions, went up there to Liverpool, and I, um, I, I nearly played a character called, called Kenton Savage, I think. This is many moons ago. I'd have played there. Amazing. They, they ended up with a character called that, but they, they changed it. I basically went to a room with like six other people that looked like me. Hmm. I was like, it's a bit weird, isn't it? But um, <laughs> yeah. I went there. Do you know what I mean? I did that. I did some, did some good stuff. It was good. You know, I had a lot of, lot of stage things, really. And like lots of period dramas and playing big poshos. And, yeah. Um, so I loved all that. Yeah, it's great. You know, it's just a tough, tough grind, though, isn't mm. it? Like, it's not, you know, yeah, it's I think, not the best pay. I think like 5% of actors earn over minimum wage or something. So, you yeah. know, it's... Uh, wow. it's like, a, acting is brutal. It's yeah. pretty tough. Yeah, you turn up... I turned up for audition once. I just went, I'll tell you, six you don't know, you're no good. I was like... I just drove down to London. Like, yeah, yeah. Told me that. Yeah, yeah told me that. Yeah, turned up and they're like, you're too tall. I was like, could have been an email. All right, well, thanks so much then. Bye. Like, yeah. We're like, oh, you're a bit fat. And I'm like, thank you very much. No problem. <laughs> brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Don't yeah. go to self esteem, but it's good. <laughs> yeah. It's great. Like, t- traveling the man and meeting people is, is what I love. Right? Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And then another acting question was which character in the Warhammer universe or multiverse would you like to play in an Amazon series? Get it in now, because you might get asked. Yeah. Hello, Amazon. Um, <laughs> I used to act. Check out my CV. I, I've got one. Who have you? He looks like Comic Sark Gaunt. Oh, yeah, it'd be a good Gaunt. Yeah, That's what I get. Like, people always tell me I look like Rick Mayo. I get Rick Mayo. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Yeah. And the guy, the, who was the, the guy from Love Actually, who went over, who did the BT yes. adverts. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know exactly two. who you mean. Rick Mayo, yeah. man. Hundreds of people in my life without, I've just said, you like Rick Mayo. Like, you look like Rick Mayo. Well, he I'm plays saying. Flash Out in Blackadder, doesn't he? Yeah. Which is also Cypher's Kane. So he could be Cypher's Kane. There you go. Oh, there you go. I'll take that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know, know what's appropriate to say anymore, really. Yeah. Black Adam, you get what I'm saying. I mean, I exactly all what all saying. I remember is he just goes, woof. Yeah. Woof. Yeah. 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 Nice beard. Gives him something to hold on to. Woof. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and cut. There we go. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, that, that, do you know what I mean? Anything like that. Like, silly. T- I always go for like, they always go, always go like nice ones. I go, I'll read for this nice guy. I got like nice eyes or something. Like, they go, oh, you'll, you'll make a good, good guy. I turn up and they go, right, you're no good for that. Here's like an evil murdering, <laughs> conniving bastard. You're great for that. And they're like, you're just a bit intense. I'm like, all right, so I play that. I always, always go for good guys. I think I'd make a nice guy called like Matt or something. He's like, yeah, he's a nice yeah. family man. Yeah. No, I'm the one who murders him, kills his family. Like that, that yeah. do you know what I mean? That's like, yeah. that's what they give me in a role. So <laughs> anything like that. <laughs> some, <laughs> some, you, you know, duplicitous like dark elf. I remember I grew, mm. well, I grew, uh, during lockdown, I grew my hair long for about 20 months and then I started wearing it back in a man bun and then with this big beard. And I remember one day putting it back in a man bun with this big beard and I thought, I just look like one of the people that John Wick shoots in the face. Because <laughs> yeah. the, the bad guys always have big beards and man buns. Yeah, be, yeah, they have yeah. to look slightly, slightly dodgly Eastern European. And I just thought, I've just got nine millimeter hole in my head written all over me after, yeah. after being yeah. brought to the ground in a judo move I did, yeah. when I first yeah. met I did think that I thought I'd shoot yeah. this guy in the face yeah. <laughs> so do you know what it's funny, <laughs> it's funny how many people think the very same thing <laughs> after, only, after only meeting me for a minute or two like, I face could... you'd kiss face you'd hug face you'd shoot yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there you go is it the smoothness I think so yeah, yeah. oh dear <laughs> and the best of it is I'm happy with that yeah. Yeah. yeah it's so, fine everyone's got their place that's Absolutely. it so, I, the, the I, snog marry and avoid and now we've got kiss, oh god yeah. <laughs> kiss hug shoot yeah snog marry avoid that's a question <laughs> we'll have to ask that oh, well, next time we have a guest on of the three of us which would you like to shoot <laughs> <laughs> who would you like to shoot in the face oh my god I, I often think like I, I have the delusions of grandeur like oh wouldn't it be amazing to play a space marine and I'm like no I'm like five foot six yeah, but I no, would be no one's getting hired to 
who's eight foot tall, are they? No, no, I guess not. But <laughs> it's I think, an ideal squat doing that. Yes, yeah, so I, I, I could be a Votan, but I think I think my dream would would be the side character where like the two main characters, if they're like guard or whatever, we're in a trench and they're like, oh, we need to we need to be sensible about this. And I'm like, no, they've stopped firing. I'm going to go bang. <laughs> yeah. you know what I, what I yeah. think would be a really good part in a, in a in space marine. And, and you know, the space marines, because obviously they just don't have a life to the, they just, no. they're just war. I just think like really sarcastic sidekick human who does something for them, but they're so war based that they don't understand sarcasm yeah, you just yeah, walk yeah, along yeah. being sarcastic next to one oh a new skull on your belt oh that looks nice you know what I, mean? <laughs> yeah. I think that would be great because I just think they wouldn't understand yeah, sarcasm yeah. because they're so removed from society like, like yeah. are they even funny I suppose it means even fun are they just boring bastards really uh, I mean like, well, I, well, that, in circles are probably funny yeah that guy's yeah, a bit of a yeah, laugh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> I, I quite liked um I think I mentioned it before, uh, Tor Garadan in the Watchers of the, Watchers of the Throne books mm-hmm. because he's just an angry Yorkshireman. Yeah. Um, and I was just like, ah, didn't expect that. <laughs> but then it, they're just space marines and they're arguing with other space marines about yeah. who's the best space marine. Yeah. And I'm like, I'll what's, shoot the best you. Way, what's the best way to war? That's yeah. It, isn't it? Yeah. So, I war better than you. The big question being asked now, because it just made me think about it, like, you know, different chapters and stuff. Like, yeah. Dark Angels, right? They, they probably don't play around, so they don't do. Not much of a laugh. Horse play, not much of a laugh. Oh, okay. Made me think, like, you know, they've got robes. Maybe they like play tricks on the robes. Then I, it occurred to me, their robes are cream on the outside, red on the inside. How do you wash them? That's a very good point because you can't put them in the washing machine together. They're going to go pink. Maybe it's a zip bit. And they're like, zip it. Maybe. Just, big question being asked. I mean, how, how, does that, how is that going to work in a washing machine? Yeah, they, sure they are just going to go pink. Maybe they just have to replace one after every Do they have to hand wash each one yeah, individually? Yeah. 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 Do they not wash them? Or they just don't wash them. Or they yeah. just don't wash them. Kira bought, she was painting a chaplain the other day and she's like, who put that little skull on his cloak? Who, like, who's there? They've got a surf going, get that. Doesn't look fancy enough. So in a little yeah. bit gilding yeah, yeah, or something yeah. like, like these are guys who just do war and yeah. I'm like no character like do you know what I mean like yeah. and, oh get him, get him a nice cloak though I like, like the idea that like a space marine's battle barge must have a, like a, at least like a complement of a thousand tailors yeah a lot of people knitting that's what I mean like, 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 like you don't yeah. um, comes in like skull please yeah. <laughs> yeah. another one yeah Billy agrees a little off have you watched any of the the new Star Trek Strange New World. No. Well, and the captain on it has this really, really quite substantial quiff haircut. Yeah. All right, which I, I've become a bit obsessed with with being a barber, and it's really quite high. And they had an episode uh, a while ago where they really got a, they they really got an ass kicking, and seven of the crew were killed. Which is I like the fact that it's a little bit more full on than Ooh. the ones. And there were seven of these perfectly beautiful black obsidian coffins that would be getting fired out into space and he was stood there looking at them all in dismay at losing these members of the team and I said to my wife I went God, I hope his barber's not one of them. <laughs> <laughs> were they were they just the red coats? Were they important people? No, they were a bit of a mix. It was oh, like some engineer. Was it the end of season one? Yeah. 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 I've watched that. Yeah, one. Yeah, and yeah. Then, oh yeah, I was thinking, God, I hope his barber's not. Never there. good to be a red coat in that, is it really? No, yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> First off the list. I always yeah. think like with all the leather pouches, do the Imperium have like cow planet? Yeah. That's, That's a good that, question. That, that, I mean, we Wade talked about that, like you know, when it comes to like planets, there is an entire planet that probably makes yeah. flannels, an entire planet that yeah. makes belt buckles and stuff. Yeah. Like that. So it's or maybe it's they've got true. no. Or the worry would be they make corn star, they make corp starch, and maybe they've got no cows. Mm. Oh, oh yeah, oh. bit, bit flayed humans. Yeah, yeah a bit bit potluck really, isn't it? Where you're born in that mm. one, mm. cow cow man, cow planet man, or like. <laughs> Species man. It's, it's the like, algae plant. Cloak man. Like, mm, yeah. Cloak planet. He's got, yeah, cloaks. Yeah. Cloaks. I'd be like camo cloak. You know, oh shit, where is it? I've switched it on by accident and it's just gone. Yeah. You'd be like, what do I do? Just press it. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fair. brilliant. I mean, yeah, you could have that. There'd be such a great comedy show of like. People in on the lowest rungs of imperial employment. I think that would. Oh, be like, a, you know, like that, yeah. that Star Trek cartoon, uh, Lower Decks. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I imagine seen Lower that. Decks, but imagine Lower Decks was set on board, board a space marine barge. Yeah. yeah. It's going, Lower yeah. levels, then. Yeah. 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 Oh. You see, now, how long it takes to clean a bolter when you're only four foot eight? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Go <laughs> and pick it up. And he's a forklift truck. <laughs> 
Oh, brilliant. You had to um, crawl into the barrel to clean it. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Send yeah. the child down that heavy <laughs> bolt. Oh, yeah. It's <laughs> like, the safety off. No. <laughs> I'm like chimney sweeps. There's another yeah. skull for your belt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. We need more skulls. Get more yeah. kids out. Yeah, it's, <laughs> only, it's only a little. <laughs> oh, well. I mean, I think it's uh, Khan the Betrayer has like skulls on him. Yeah. And there's a little tiny yeah. one on his belt. You're like. Did you yeah. kill a child? <laughs> and oh, you're wearing that. Oh, no. Anakin Skywalker all over again. Imagine the idea, <laughs> imagine the idea of a, a woman walking through the battle barge and a, and a servo skull goes the other way and goes, I'm sure that's our Daniel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dan! 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that would be so good. Yeah, that's what they should make the TV shows out, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. No, space Marines, Space Marines, Space Marines. But now nah, make, it, make it just like some yeah. dude. Like, Black yeah. Adder, but... Space, I just like yeah. I do like the idea that they come in and bark some orders about thinking the minute they leave all the humans and all the normal humans are like that yeah. yeah they're bad <laughs> <laughs> no, that guy's a dick yeah <laughs> yeah oh that would be great because yeah. <laughs> uh, that would be horrifying just be like yeah me and my best mate and he'd be like oh he's a servitor now yeah like, yeah that, yeah, that'd uh, be pretty great yeah we lobotomised him yeah. yeah he now carries stuff in the in the dock and mayor area <laughs> yeah it's like Nick Frost from uh, Shaun of the Dead isn't yeah, it yeah yeah, oh, yeah. 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 Just just like, just like, <laughs> <laughs> or it could be a romantic comedy like one one man's love for his servitor friend yeah. Yeah. one man's adventure one man's love <laughs> I'd watch that no, I don't think I would yeah <laughs> well, I would I'll be the servitor <laughs> and Mars attacks right? yeah. I'd do that oh I love Mars attacks I haven't seen that I've got so, so many dark things I want to talk about right now but I'm not going <laughs> to I'm trying to remain upbeat now, yeah. The, the brain, the brain <laughs> goes. What's God. this rabbit hole? Yeah. I've been quiet because there's so many things I should be saying. God, Pat, re- rescue Peachy, give us a question. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yes, that's what we're doing. Uh, uh, show. Oh, hello. Yeah. Hi. Um, hi, hi. I, I, love, I love getting sidetracked. It's great. Uh, as someone starting a business with their partner soon, what lessons or advice would you impart from going on this journey with uh, Kira? Oh, yeah, that's, that's a very good question. Um, Communication, I think, is really, really key, right? Like in life and in relationships, right? Good communication is really key. And I think we've we've always been good communicators. We had the sort of the long distance thing, so yeah, very good at like talking, and um, that's been massive. And it has been an experience, right? We, it's gone through stages where it was step one was whatever, and it was was this, and then the dynamic changes all the time. Um, I think being very aware of that, and I actually did a video on opening a hobby shop. And um, mm. I will say there were some absolutely like beautiful comments on that. There's a lot of people who, who understood the same, had the issues. Whenever they go, you know, I do a business in whatever, a haircut and a barber, whatever. Like, yeah. And it's, it's the same issues, right? It's the same problems, the same stresses, the same worries. And some guy, it's one comment. I forget who did the comment, but thank you so much. One, one person did a comment. It really like, actually hit me. Um, and he was saying like my partner, she used to have a business and I used to work with her. Yeah. every day for five years he said you know a couple of years ago that ended and now i go to my job she goes to her job and i never see her and he said but now there's nothing more than i wish like to see my partner and your family more than you could like you know we have the kids yeah. comes up to the shop and it's yeah it's, it's a family right it's, it's a unit there so like, i would say like you know communicate but like don't forget that you know you're, you're there to support each other and mm. it's, it's like you know cherish that and that's what one guy said he's like nothing more i wish now than i could go back five years and see my partner see my family more than I do because now I never see them you know mm, he's, yeah. like, he's like whatever he works at night whatever whatever that dynamic yeah. and it's like so that's something I really try, took on heart actually like, not, you know you get a lot of comments right everybody else. a comment actually hit me on heart and I thought do you know what very lucky right yeah, now, yeah, yeah, really yeah. to be in this position um, so yeah I think just communicate more than anything because it's very easy for that pressure to come home have a bad day or whatever and you know and, and that explodes and that leads to like you can lead to an argument or whatever, whatever you know it changes that don't be afraid to turn off do something nice do something nice for each other, change yeah. it, right? Yeah, like, yeah, I think yeah, that's yeah. life, right? But uh, yeah. it applies to a business more so because you've got other other pressures. So I think, you know, don't I don't want to like... Well, it's, you've got a lot of plates to spin as well, so sometimes there, there is a lot... A lot going on, yeah. 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 And then life the happens, right? And it's, yeah, it's, like, yeah. it's like they're everything, though, isn't it? Yeah. Any relationship. So, yeah. But I would say that's like... That's my... If you were to do a business with your partner, just communicate. I think mm-hmm. It's massive. Yeah. Wonderful. Oh, that's a very, very boring answer. But no, it's a good answer. No, it's, it's just, just true, no, isn't no, it? It's, like, yeah. it's so yeah. easy to, I know, metaphorically, it's so easy to have a bad day and want to come home and kick the dog. Yeah, right. Instead of explaining why you want to kick the dog. I think so. Yeah. And if you need a bit of time away, like she loves to just sometimes do a bit of TikTok, melt the brain for an hour. Yeah. That's okay. You know, it's yeah. okay to have yeah. a bit of space. That's absolutely right. I love a bit of doom scrolling. Yeah. Um, lovely. So uh, Tim coming in, he, he asks the one chap, well done, Tim. 
uh, about the favourite cheese, uh, but he also asked two other questions. Favourite Pokemon? Yeah. That's become a new one, that, hasn't it? That started yeah. last week. Yeah, I'm just going to go straight in there with Psyduck. I, I know nothing about Pokemon. I know my Pokemon. I know my Pokemon is. I know nothing. Yeah, I, I only know, know, like, I only know the original ones. I don't know all the Yeah, the first waves. 150. I know a little bit of yeah. the next one. I'm like Pokemon Red or Blue, right? <laughs> yeah. There's more than 150. Oh, there's like... Oh, there's so many there's now. Some of them now. Yeah. <laughs> some there's one I saw the other day, it's a keychain. That's a Pokemon now. Okay. It's a load of keys. Well, they don't oh, make like, Pokemon like, like they, they used, used to. to. Back in my day. <laughs> Back like, in my day. What, what is a, there's a paperclip and a keychain. The key like, chain. Oh, yeah, it's called like keychain. Oh, is it, isn't that I from Microsoft? Yeah, 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 paperclip man. He's become a Pokemon now. That's where he's gone. But I don't know. Yeah, there's some crazy ones out there now. The first 150 odd in keychain. I think they're just swapping us off now. Oh, hey. Hey. Well, that joke's for you, free. You are busting them out. Oh, no, <laughs> Charmander. Yeah. Charmander, very good. Squirtle. Squirtle, yeah. It's a bit cheeky, isn't he? Yeah, you'd be a, you'd be a Squirtle, I can see that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I like Squirtle. I, yeah, I'm, I'm all about Psyduck, I think, just because he's... <laughs> Just Psyduck. Weird. Psyduck. Yeah, basically, it's it's a weird duck that's having an existential crisis, uh, and it just goes... <laughs> a lot. And, Forever. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's a permanent <laughs> existential crisis. Yeah. Yeah. Is that the most you make when you're red? <laughs> yeah. 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 I wake up in the morning, and I'm like... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a like donut as well. Do you know what I mean? He's like a, is he the one that's got a hole in him? I don't know. No. <laughs> oh, there, no, there is a donut one, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. There's, there's some weird oh. stuff out there. You didn't ever do Pokemon? Nope. You never did that with the kids? No. Yeah. No, no he's, he's, he's straight into Star Wars. So oh, it was job. from Bluey and uh, all the other CBB straight to Star Wars. We, so, we've, had, so. we've, had, we've had ponies and all that. No. Know. No. Unfortunate. Dodged the bullet. There we go. <laughs> um, ah, Pokemon's not that bad. Um, I don't know. How does... <laughs> I've seen people going into my front garden trying to look for the bloody... Uh... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, There's so... a time under in your house, mate. Because that was the time I was like, what the hell's going on? And then someone mentioned, oh, it's probably Pokemon. So I downloaded it. I was like, why is there one in our garden? <laughs> yeah. Throw yeah. a ball at him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wonderful. Oh, yeah, I remember when it came out. And, and you could always tell when people were playing Pokemon Go because they'd have their phone like plugged into a power bank in their pocket. Yeah. And, yeah. Walk into a lamppost, right? Whoop, yeah, there you go. yeah, yeah. And it would be like, oh my god, there's this spawn, and then everybody just flocks to this like random corner, mm. and you're like, are they drug dealing or playing yeah, Pokemon? <laughs> um, anyway, uh, how does the gaming scene differ in Ireland to the UK? Um, we've had a good growth there, and, and there's there's uh, Ireland's what I think about five million people now uh, as a population there, so significantly smaller than the UK, right? There's a, there's a few shops. There's Two games workshops. I think they're doing opening two more now, um, and it's certainly like I, I, I'm finding a lot. Everyone, everyone knows everybody, right? So I've, I've run. I'm running an event actually in a couple of weeks at my fourth ITC major job. It's mm. Ireland's largest ever competitive tournament, and um, tickets are just live now. I've got about twenty tickets left, I think, and Absolutely. that will be my fourth year of that. And um, it's been brilliant. Like every year, there's lots of new players. Really trying to like pound the the, the ethos is new, friendly, welcome. It's not like hyper competitive. It's not cutthroat you know there's the team island people there they're great they're a lovely bunch very good at teaching everyone's very like helpful to each other there's not many do you know what i mean it's, it's a lovely community mm. um obviously 40k is the the biggest game there is maybe we struggle a little bit for the smaller game system just just see the quality of players yeah. but overall same same stuff really usual nice helpful people but just yeah a little bit not the diversity of games just due to lack of access and players right yeah but, and yeah. there's a long way between people you know we're three hours away from Dublin, so it's a long way to come to us or vice versa. So mm. people are, you know, we have a good flock of people. I live in the country. I live in the country. I live in like cowland. Mm. Um, yeah. So yeah, but the same, same job here, I'd say. Yeah. Wonderful. Uh, Tabletop on Tap asks, how is the Wall of Fame going? Uh, very good. Um, so Tabletop on Tap is, is a patron of mine as well. I'm assuming I, uh, he's on the wall. I have a Wall of Fame for the patrons and for the people. Yeah. That goes up there in the back of the studio. I meant to update it like every month, but I think it's probably been longer. Five than... weeks, should Long... we say? We'll, five... we'll say five weeks. Yeah, sure. there we go. Five yeah. weeks since I yeah. updated this. Yeah. It's one of those nice. ones I, go, like, I look at it and I go, I've got to get like those names on there, and then I go, I'll get that done and go home and I strap I've them been married 30 years, Pat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good to compromise over there. Yeah. Yeah, just, no, no, that's a lie. Come, yeah. come up with an answer very quickly. Yeah, yeah it's been five weeks, four weeks in a day since I've Yeah, that's that. right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it's great. No, it's, it's lovely to have the support, isn't is it? Is it a certain so, tier of patrons or just every patron? Over like what's any patron once you hit like an amount, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Easy oh. to get on to. Um, he, get... he has put a winky face at the end of this, I see. So, I yeah. appreciate the little 
Yeah. But I think he's on there though, so he's all right. It's the other ones in it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Rest them. It's hard, isn't it? It's always keeping yeah. on top of all these things. And oh, you go, yeah. Shit, time yeah. flies. Like, yeah. 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 It it's really the ones does. Drop off as well. You've got to remember to remove them. Yeah. Get out of there. Scoop through. Or, you know, yeah. Skulls. Yeah. No, yeah. yeah. They've been a patron, so they should probably stay there. Yeah. 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 Get the sponge out. You're dead to me. <laughs> yeah. Um, paint that. Get a blue paint back. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. What would you do if a fairy had gifted you a full week of free time without the need to work on shop or YouTube? I'd think about shop or YouTube. Uh, no, uh, I would, yeah. uh, but I wouldn't want to. But I would. Yeah. What would I do? It takes about two days to like not do stuff. I have to have no phone on me because if I have a phone, it's impossible to get away from it. Yeah. No phone. What would I do? I don't know. Go walk about somewhere. Do Hadrian's Wall or something. Mm. Walk that or do something a bit, a bit weird. Figure out how to commercialise that fairy. Yeah, yeah. Think, think about what can this fairy do for me? Catch it first, page that, yeah. monetize it. Um, yeah, 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 make its own YouTube channel. Yeah, 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 yeah. it yeah. will work. Yeah. I'm stuck in a game. Yeah. 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 By There's the way, a streaming deck now work. Yeah, now work. It's blasted. Um, get your fairy friends in as well. Um, yeah. Amazing. I don't know, music or something probably. Could yeah. Go and rock, rock out with a guitar. Yeah. Sounds yeah. Cool. Just go to a random wedding. I, I don't mind a bit of that. that <laughs> wedding's always good for a few well, days. Whether, whether, you asked, whether if you're asked to attend or not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wedding crashing, right? I could do that. <laughs> Absolutely. Lovely. And the last one. Hit me. Um, he says no questions, but then uh, ends up asking uh, two. Uh, <laughs> Perfect. With some, with some laughing emojis going, oops. Um... Uh, no question, but a big thumbs up for the Sharps gang video. You actually convinced me to buy a box and get them started. Nice. nice. Um, got to priming. Any plans for a Flashman conversion? Fighting Afghans, maybe? Question mark. Me? Yeah. I don't know. Flashman, Flashman is a, a, I think it's a series of books, which is yeah, like, like uh, colonial oh, is it? era sort of stuff. Well, I, um, are they good? I don't. I've never read them. I'm, I'm aware of them. I've heard. Yeah, them. Flashman is what they use for Kane, isn't it? Well, for no, that's the, uh, yeah, that's Flash Hart from um, uh, Black Adder. I yeah, who's based on Flashman? It's is a he? series uh, of like, oh, is it? It's a series no. of like what I'm learning 20, from this like, early twentieth century books. Who's a, a cowardly? Okay. Yeah. 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 He started, I always thought it was from Black Adder, which he I didn't realise was off. that. It was, that was it was, start, it was, I think if like I remember, said, not read you ever read the books of, ever read of like Tom, Tom Brown's school days? Well, Flashman was like a character at the school and then they did books about him as he became an army officer in the Napoleonics and that's where, that's where Flash Out comes from. Cool. Can, can we do a Sean Bean Sharp thing? We got should. To. We've got to. It's like, there's not many other tubers out there I know who love it. Like, yeah. I love it. He's the best. He's the best. He's the best. Can I, I ask it. my question? Oh, God. Oh, yeah. I'm scared now. No, well, it's not. We talked about it. Would you uh, shoot me in the face? Yes. <laughs> hundred John Wick style. Yeah. 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 Multiple yeah. times now. I'd be so honoured if you did. Um, yeah. <laughs> how has it been with the, uh, without putting a down on it, how has it been with regards to seeing how the world treats your other half on oh, YouTube? Uh, yeah, that is, that, is a, that is a question. Um, it's not something we always, Kieran and I always talk about. I, I guess, like, she ha- she has her own outlet, right? So she gets her own messages right which aren't always as nice as you'd want them to be mm. she gets she gets treated very differently to me on the channel um i might get like you know we got various comments right lots of lovely ones the majority are lovely of course mm. but they're not the ones that stick with you sometimes right it's yeah, the, no. the bad yeah. ones so we, we did a video a couple of years ago I, I, it's the only video i've ever just outright deleted off youtube just just deleted it i didn't even oh, I, right. I was just like you know i've had enough like deleted it we did it was a funny one like looking at her starties or whatever she, she wasn't into the hobby much so she, we thought we'd watch it it's kind of popular at the time so but it's like a new year's eve bug it let's do it, have mm. a wine and do that and she got like, the, 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 that's like probably the, the worst of the community we've ever had. And I was like, I, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to even do this. Like, I don't want to do Warhammer or anything. Mm. Like, this is what it's like. So yeah. we got rid of that. But she she gets, in, in all seriousness, we did a video, myself, Luke, Benji, and a few other Benji's hobbies. We did a video like um, YouTubers read meme comments, right? Yes. So we tried to make light of it, right? Yeah. So they're like the filtered mad, bad comments, right? There's yeah. lots of comments you wouldn't put out. And in, in all fairness, like she she's had to get like a, a thicker, thick skin with it do you know what I mean because it's, it's kind of part of day and day and it's not like we don't always talk about like you know women in wargaming all these kind of there's a lot of people do which is great it's it's it's, it's wonderful that that's being discussed but it's not yeah. something we always talk about I don't really know why um but I, I always feel the need to like filter because I have the YouTube so I filter but you know I don't want her to be witness to some of the stuff you read right some of the comments you get but like, where, where mine might be like you know a mean comment might be like oh you're a I hate you. I'm like, okay, great. Or you're, you're useless or you're ugly or whatever, right? Yeah. Hers I'd like, shoot you in the face. Yeah, I'd shoot you in the face, right? Not a wink. No wink, right? Like, okay, that's, yeah. that's a serious one then. You know, like, so you get those. But hers are, 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 are generally aimed at the fact that she, she's, she's a lady, right? So, so she'll get 
quite sexualized ones, but like, it, it, like not in a nice way. Mm, yeah. So not that there is, but I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's quite. I don't know, it's hard to talk about, isn't it? Really, but she she gets like some some flack for that, and I think she gets a lot of you know she, she's a serious hobbyist. She paints. She yeah. You know she that's that's her core thing. She's you know. You know do you know, it's really hard to talk about, actually. She, um, we, we've struggled with it over the years, I think, between us. Um, and normally, if one's down, one's up. You've, you've got to mm. do that. If you're both at the bottom, we've both had a bad week, and we've both had bad comments, and you both have whatever, like, it does hit you. And yeah, you go, like, definitely. Like, why? Why, yeah, why yeah, bother yeah. then? Why do this? Like, you know what I mean? This is what people are going to be like. Why do it? And it, it is it's such a minority, honestly, such a minority. But they are there, and it's unfortunate. But I do think that scene... Is changing now, right? I yeah. think the, the stigma is changing. Yeah, you look yeah, at it from when we were hobbyists as, as, as kids, it was like you say, shame, and it was that. And then Game of Thrones and Lord of the Rings and Stranger Things happened, and yep. all these things that have turned so like cool fancy. Yeah. Henry Cavill, like it's been amazing. Yeah. I get people yeah. come to the shop going, I've never heard of Warhammer, but I know Henry Cavill likes it. You're like, that's that's yeah. a great album. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah, wonderful. Yeah. So, like, now, like, the, these people are stepping forward. And um, even like Magic the Gathering, right? There's people there, and yeah. all this sphere is getting more popular, and it's becoming more normalised now, which is which is a good thing. Yeah. Um, uh, and like, people should be able to do that, but it, it's still there. Um, it's it's not always relevant, but it's it's definitely a very different treatment to me. I, I'll get called ugly and useless and crap. You'll get called something else. And yeah, yeah it's a shame. Well, yeah. I'm glad it doesn't pull off her stride because she produces some really good stuff, and I'm I'm glad she's out there doing what she does. Yeah, I'm very proud of it. I'm very, I'm very proud of her to, to get where she's at with it all and mm. you know she's, she's, she's lovely she enjoys it we, we had a community meetup last week and it's, it's, it's great it's a lovely community it really is I don't want to put a down on it but it is it, it's part of it you know yeah. it's just a very yeah. different it, scene to, to me it's, it's upsetting because it's like they, they say those things purposely to upset you yeah and obviously as a response you're upset because you see it you're just like why, why are you saying you know I, I've never I've never felt the need myself to, to just go on the internet watch someone just go you look like a ball sack. Yeah, yeah. You need to die. <laughs> yeah, yeah. you get that. You're like, yeah, and I'm like, what, what, what? And, and, and you know, I'm sure someone in the comments will go, "Well, you don't understand these people what they've been through." This, that, the other. Exactly. Like, yeah. That's... But then, you know, if you've been through shit, then maybe don't chuck shit at you, someone you else. You should know it. Yeah, yeah. 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 like, I don't walk past my neighbour's house, look at their deck, and go, "You know what? I'm gonna knock on their door and tell them their deck all yeah. crap and carry on my day." And, and then, and they wouldn't yeah, do right? that. They yeah. wouldn't. Do. I've never had anyone to my face come up and go, "I hate you." Yeah, you go, okay, great. I'm sure there are people. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's yeah, your yeah, persona yeah. you have online, like, ever we all have characters. I'm sure people like different things, like, different whatever. But yeah, and the people don't say it to your face. I know, like, we have, it's, 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 it, it is a minority, but like I say it can stick sometimes. And if yeah, I've had, do, yeah. the video you really liked is really badly, we've had a bad week in the shop, kids had a bad week online, we've had a stressful time with the kid. It all can It's like your defences against Yeah, you one, yeah, chip, one yeah. chip, one chip, one chip. Oh, yeah. And yeah. you end up at the bottom and you go like, I, I don't want to do this. Like, I yeah. can't do this anymore. Um, yeah. But it, it is changing and that's great. And I think like we were at Salute, weren't we? And that yeah, yeah, we had a panel there we and salute. there was stuff there. And that's, it's so good that that's becoming, at least it's spoken about, you know, mm, whereas, yeah. there, whereas there weren't like, you know, Games Workshop 20 years ago, the, you know, you go in, it's like, the, drag the girlfriend in, they'll be like, oh God, like, <laughs> yeah. here we are, stand <laughs> yeah. outside, go, go whatever. It's not like that now. Yeah, um, yeah, and, yeah. And, and that's brilliant. And that's why having like Kira in the shop is wonderful because it helps other other ladies or other people want to yeah. play. Yeah, part, I think that know? must be that thing of a bit of a look through the glass and yeah. go. The, the, she, she's there enjoying it. There's a lady it's in there. So bad. Yeah, yeah, can, someone yeah. comes in with a girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever, and they go, oh, you know, like they're they're doing it. But yeah. I think it also normalises it for for the younger generation Kids. as well. So like you know, I've said it before. Like in our house, we we all share the chores and stuff for, mm -hmm. for our lad. That's just normal. It's like you know, yeah. I don't like go off to work and come back and expect my egg and chips on a Tuesday. Right. Um, I mean, I do. As long as it's fish. <laughs> yeah. as long as it's fish on a Friday. <laughs> but, but, but that's like fish that's, fingers, mate. That's the change as well in, in society, isn't yeah, it? Like yeah. that, that 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 wall or stereotype or stick or whatever. Those things are, are changing, right? And it's always evolving. So it's nice to see that the hobby, although it is, I think, behind general society now it is it is changing um, yeah. I, I know that's coming from me as, as, a, as a male perspective but yeah. that's that's how i see it with kira do you know what i mean she would maybe say something else but yeah. you know, i wouldn't speak for her but that's how i see it so it's always want to like guard that right i just don't want her to see this yeah yeah, like, yeah yeah it's no. not good for anybody is it and there's such a minority of them most people honestly are lovely like you like you know but yeah just sometimes sometimes it just gets you and that's it's just some yeah. people shine at clouds yeah it's gonna be better to it's do. a shame but. i think like the worst i get is i'll type out a response and then i'll just close youtube yeah that, that's um, it type the response and go <laughs> wait, no. so someone said um oh it made me giggle and the response that i typed out and didn't send like wasn't bad um and it was a comment on one of the shorts i think it was like a stormcast that mm. you'd done 
Um, oh yeah, wasn't it too? And, like, and it, it said, like rubbish. "It's like this is so bad. If somebody played with this against me, I'd laugh them off the table." And I was like. <laughs> You sound really fun. Yeah. I think yeah. I wrote something to that as well and I just deleted it. <laughs> I, 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 find, I find now I delete YouTube Studio a lot off my phone. Put a video out, first 24, 48 hours, check on the thumbnail, check on the video, get rid of it. Yeah. So, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, I forgot I had a good run of nice videos, nostalgia ones and yes. healthy yeah. stuff. And they were all lovely comments. And I, then I did a video, like a normal video, and I was like, oh, I forgot, like, I forgot this exists. Shitty comments exist. Mm. It's then you wake up in the morning and you shouldn't. You roll at 7am and you go, oh, there's some shit. Or you're at Tesco's and you go, oh, well, I don't have notifications. I just delete it a lot of the time now. Yeah, so yeah. It's not. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, which yeah. is a shame because it means you miss interaction. The nice ones, yeah. The nice yeah, ones, the good but ones, unfortunately, the like, ones. yeah. But then, you know, you get folks saying, oh, you only look at the positive ones. You should look at the negative ones. Oh, should I? Should I? Yeah, they go, you're on the internet. Yeah. Let's say, that's what they take care of. You're, yeah, you're yeah. there, so you should so it's like going, If you walk down the street, you should purposely stand in the dog poo. No, yeah. I'm all right, thanks. Yeah, they, they say, yeah. I love that. That's a, that's yeah. a great feeling. Yeah. 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 Yeah, they say, don't they? You're on the internet, so suck it up. You're like, well, no. Yeah, <laughs> I don't just, want to. Just don't yeah. do it. I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm in the park. Oh, yeah, I'm like, you don't do it instead of me having to, yeah. you know. Yeah. But I think that's the same over all of YouTube, too, isn't it? It's just a different different take for Kira. But she's great. Good. I don't know. Like, I'd love to uh, to have a sort of test of being a female in the hobby mm, for, for a month or two, just I, to see the uh, the kind of like knobbery that you get. I didn't realise it. I didn't think it was like it was until we got a few videos in, and then I think actually, do you know, what, I maybe understand a little bit more like what that it, how that issue is, mm. how real that issue is. Um, it was something I, it's not that I never thought about. You just hadn't hadn't directly hit me yeah. right and then you're like oh actually no do you know what this is terrible and then you think you've got your kid you, yeah. you, that, that, is that what she's going to have like yeah. which is which is but it's, but it's changing yeah. the, only, the only thing I'd fear if I did it was getting dick pits off my brother <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, I, I will say I will send you one yeah. <laughs> heavy breathe down the phone like, I really love what you did with that space marine <laughs> it's a picture it's me <laughs> you look like a ball sack yes it's, <laughs> it's mine um, <laughs> do you know what I really like um, oh, yeah. some giggly eyes on it yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's oh that's the worst thing. you know Instagram you get a picture and it's like you click to open are you sure you want to open I'm like I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn it. Yeah. I opened it. Uh, yeah. Not much as a space marine, but yeah. 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 Sometimes yeah. it's not. Occasionally I, it's not. Yeah. Yeah. It could be a thumb, could be something else. It's know. definitely not. A thumb. I've only ever had space marines for those pictures. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's definitely. like, are you sure you want to see this? I'm like, yeah. And it makes me really nervous. And I'm just like, oh, yeah, it's a few space marines. Yeah. It's a picture of someone's dog. Oh, that's lovely. But here's that one or two which has got like that. Oh, no, that isn't. Uh, yeah. A couple of those which aren't space marines. And yes. Go, ah, that's a bit awkward. They're still space marines. Yeah, yeah. Sineshi yeah. ones. Yeah, that's yeah. it. That's yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. So I think you have a little uh, uh, yes. letter or something, Jeff. Yes, Is that we right? do. To yes, yes, yes. To Peachy, Jeff and Pat. Hope you're enjoying these biscuits and they are awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, and cookies. I should have maybe changed where I put that then. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I made these uh, to thank you for the great content you put out. Thank you for helping me get through 36 gaunts. Ooh. All the best, Phil. Also known as Brain Seller. Uh, who's on Patreon? Thank you very much. Hopefully, this starts a trend. Let's hope it does. Homemade mm. biscuits, and if they're as good as oh, this one, we that's were a trend discussing. we're all behind. We were discussing. We're Thank talking you, 36 uh, tyranny gaunts or 36 Ibram gaunts. That's what we want to know. So, yeah. drop it in the comments. If you've got a commissar <laughs> army, you'll be very <laughs> impressed. Yeah. Please tell me. Yeah. 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 a squad of commissars. Yeah. 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 Good job. I, uh, I tried to open a PO box last night, actually, but uh, my all my cards just kept getting declined so oh. Uh, oh. I don't know why I think Royal Mail was just I was like oh no I need to buy some on, something on Amazon to check and then that's why I bought loads of spray cans of, <laughs> of pink uh, and they work so, so just, uh, Royal, Royal Mail, Mail just thing. hates us so yeah, we're, we're going to yeah. try and have a, a PO box so people can send us stuff if they want enough people have asked yes well, that's lovely isn't it getting, yeah. free, getting nice cookies yeah Absolutely. yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Amazing, right? I think, well, thank I think you very much. Uh, yeah, thank you. Molly, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thanks for coming on, man. Nice really enjoyed it. Yeah. Thank you, all of you. 15 yeah. minutes back on the plane. Yeah, I'll be back home in Off an hour. Yeah, see you later. <laughs> Do you really need you to get home, probably. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, no, I need to fly to another country. Five pounds, please. Yeah, no, thank you. Thank you as well. Thank you, for everyone, for the questions and for being lovely. And uh, yeah. hope the show and the shop continues to do well. Mm. Me too. And hopefully we'll see Kira on here at some point. Yeah, in the yeah I do. We'll get her over at some time. Yeah, that'd be cool. More toy paint guides, please. Yes, I know. Give us more videos. We'll copy your we'll copy your videos out and we'll, we'll get some paint guides from you. I'll yeah. have, have a painting these in peel fists soon. That's that's the job. Oh yeah, there we go. They're awesome. Yeah, space ducks. Right, Sladers, Taders.